right, I'm parrying this in the plain sight. To my right, Star of All Things Blaze TV, the one and only Mr. Brandon Steele. The Chinese are trying to prevent us from yeah. recording. They knew that it's episode 420. Oh, fuck, is it? Yeah, it's a special fucking episode. Fucking 420. Hell yeah, Blaze dude. it, dude. I'm fucking... Fuck yeah, bro. I'm zooted off of instant coffee. Hell yeah, <laughs> it's, dude. It's not quite the same. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we just spent like 45 minutes trying yeah. to get rid of a buzzing sound. It turns out it's the new shitty charger yeah. I purchased for my laptop. You know, I, well, I was telling you, I think they, they do these things on purpose because they go... What if we make it, you know, what if we make it so that the knockoffs are just shitty enough to bug everyone into buying ours? And as I, I just mentioned to you, the thing is the difference in price between the knockoff and the legitimate version. I got this, I think it was 28 bucks on Amazon. The yeah. real version, which was not available for prime shipping, was 150 Yeah, no, oh, yeah. Which Apple is does like, it. who's spending $150 on a computer charger outside Some, of Apple? Well, I mean, someone who's fucking irritated with that goddamn buzz is yeah, who. that's true. Well, now I'm worried it's going to fucking fry the laptop or something. I mean, I it's, this I, it's not going to be good for you. Well, that's I don't worry about It's a myself. lot of electricity just leaking out of the back of the port. This is how I get superpowers. <laughs> this is how it happens. I mean, it's probably not great anytime you have electricity leaking it yeah, yeah, yeah tends yeah. to be a not so bueno well, i don't know read the reviews maybe it's a common thing i just i assume it can only be beneficial for me a little extra energy never hurt i anyone. mean look tesla <laughs> thought a little electricity every now and then was good for the body so. yeah we're gonna harness free energy and who are we to question him he turned out great speaking of free energy and someone who turned out great david wilcock uh this is his video from by the time you guys are hearing this, it'll be two two weeks ago. No, last week. The Not following to, week, yes, yes, yeah. This is the one after his April eighth thing, and as uh, as we record this, David was on Twitter talking about how um, he is going to try. Super and, fucking gay. <laughs> he's going to try. Who molested me? He's going to try and record, but the wind is going on, so we might not be able oh. to do it till Monday. So we'll. We'll see where we end up with that. See, this is where he's not thinking proper because he should go live and be like, you need to send super chats or I'm going to die. That's a great point because if if we could finally see him being attacked by the deep yeah, state. Yeah, if you're hunkered down and it's just going crazy outside, people will be sending you donos left and right. I'm kind of shocked he hasn't thought to do that. Like, just fucking fake it. Fake yeah, it. Dude. Have be recording and then have a guy in a ski mask walk behind your window or some shit. Yeah, just play loud wind sound effects in the background this, and you'll be fine. This is why David needs us. We, I know. We can really he's not, punch this whole thing. It's, he's too in it, man. He's too deep in to understand, like, David, there's opportunities all around us. If he tried to flip this into being like an ARG type thing, like oh. you know, this would be one of the most popular things on the fucking internet. Survival stream. Send me money, or I'm gonna die in the mountains. Yeah, <laughs> you know what's funny is I uh, I did that uh, episode about Corey Good's deposition. I guess we have or not deposition. I'm, I'm sorry, the the lawsuit. We lawsuit. Yes, we haven't talked about that. All the uh, thirteen charges, with the exception of half of one, were dismissed. Well, I mean, yeah, we all knew that was gonna happen. They were retarded. And then he's supposed to be doing an interview tomorrow, where he's going to explain the progress on the lawsuit. So I'm interested to see how he tries to uh, maneuver that. But I like that Jay Widener tweeted out a link to the video, and I believe in the video I called him a retard. So I, I mean, I think we've called him that a lot, haven't we? Yeah, well, we've usually, probably called him significantly worse, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah, Well, usually we called him Gay Widener, I believe, yes. which is very clever. But no, I uh, Look, actually... it's too good a pun to pass up, dude. It, it's right there. It's a yeah. layup. You can't blame us for doing our job. But I had to hedge, because I do actually like Jay, because he's the only one yeah. out of that whole fucking circumstance who apologized and tried to fix it. So he's the one I don't mind out of Yeah, everyone. we're very forgiving of you going like, ah, I thought it sounded cool. Yeah, well, Fuck. I, I did say that too. Like, he, yeah. he, he. We get it. It did sound cool. It would have been really fucking cool if it was true. So, it's just uh, that they were, you know, liars. All right. Let's get on to this. David Wilcock live, understanding the cycles of history. Uh, I have slightly boosted the speed. We'll see how fast David is talking. But this video is three and a half hours. So we will Ooh, do. He must have gotten a lot of money. We will be doing the usual and splitting it. Yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah. So we'll we'll watch about hour and twenty for this episode. Same for Friday. David also forgot to uh, unmute his microphone for the very beginning here. Ah, oh, God, I could do so much with this man. Oh, the sizzle jacket's oh, back. Okay, that's hell good. yeah, dude. I like the pocket square. That's an interesting 
Damn, he's dripped out. All right. Now you know. This is how he knows he's making money now. He's got like a silk shirt on. David's outward appearance is a genuine manifestation of how he's doing like mentally. If he's fly and looking yeah. good, that means David's crushing right now. Now, it doesn't help that he was so psyched about the sizzle jacket he muted himself. <laughs> yeah, he That's got, unfortunate. He got too eager. Oh, now he's going to have to do this whole thing again. You think he's going to do it all over? Oh, this yeah, is yeah, the yeah. unteachable yeah. talent that he has. Is Thank you for telling <laughs> You could have done that as a bit, but yeah. David wasn't. No, no, no. That was very, very serious. We One thing I've started to notice since uh, he has discovered that you can get money via the internet, he, his physical appearance between that week and this week is... Oh, yeah significantly different Look, like he looks he's dressing better he yeah. looks like an entirely different person this is how we'd feel when we start making like real money on the patreon is like oh you'd see us wearing fly clothes yes chains more chains yeah <laughs> telling me that i had to unmute the microphone i'm dressed up for easter yay oh that's, <laughs> oh, that's what it's for okay, okay this was this was the day before easter is right when this was correct. back to the wide shot i decided i had to wear pink and that in well, today's we society is a cisgender, oh, heterosexual Jesus. male. Oh, no. East All right. Who molested me? <laughs> He's got to be doing a bit. Easter is probably the only time where I can legitimately get away with this type of a getup. David, you're not right. supposed to use your language. Orange silk scarf. I've got gold inlays on yeah, the Yeah, do I look gay in this jacket? No. Now, I do have to say, the orange pocket square kind of clashes with uh, the rest of the it outfit. It should be pink. It Yes, his shirt should be uh, either a different oh, color oh, or the pocket square should have been. Oh, do you think a super straight guy <laughs> wouldn't wear a fly jacket? jacket? As I said before, was something like $84. I got it in Hollywood, actually, when I was in Los Angeles. From P. Diddy. At a particular <laughs> costume shop. I was at a party. And, uh, so sizzle jackets are <laughs> well, in. Diddy you know, asked me to sure party, and I didn't say no. Right screwing up, but uh, how are you guys doing? Million. How's everybody feeling out there? Are you ready for the I'm feeling the pretty good, Dave. Easter? You know? All right. You mean transgender day? Somebody just said that. Well, I want to see what you guys are up to. You know, I, you want I get to laugh at out me? here alone in the mountains. <laughs> You're looking fancy. Pink on men started in the 1950s. Beverly Lawrence, PhD, LAC. She's got the credentials wow. to make that statement. David, you look very nice. Shaman, mermaid, black dragon. You what? are looking great, David. <laughs> Hello from Oslo. I love your jacket. Happy Pink Easter. Aren't you cute? Hey, David, you look great. Gorgeous jacket. Someone's sure, about to call him gay. One thousand percent. I don't know why he keeps doing this. He always reads until he finds one that upsets him. Yeah. He just he cannot help it. Gretchen. Oh my gosh, it's starting to get really fast now, you guys. I. <laughs> you look good. Where's the fucking Somebody money? Somebody's still sending. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give me the goddamn. Thank you. I thought you guys were uh, gonna send me money. That should fix it. Let's see. I need no, money. No, there should be sound now. We should be fine. Everybody down on the <laughs> ground. Let me make sure these money <laughs> cameras are muted properly. Yeah, we're good. So somebody else said Liberace's cousin. You look dapper. That was Tropical said Liberace's mm. cousin. It's salmon color, man. Happy Easter. Big hugs from Bosnia. Yelena, Yelena Skulpna. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But we just got a super chat here. God, Jacob someone trick him into saying the N word. Since Ascension <laughs> 2000. Wow. That's awesome. I do think it would be nice if some of our people wanted to go give him money and just congratulate him on coming out. Yeah, we I, well, well, we are would very much appreciate it if you clip it and send I have it like to a us. A lot of play. slides. I didn't even actually have time to count them. Uh, so Dave, Frank Hobson says David is pretty. Uh, thank you for being, you know, open about your feelings. That's uh, very flattered. I need David, David is a would go gay if you flattered him you enough. Play some instruments. He, well, he's he's going to have no choice but to go gay. Soon. I I usually wouldn't say you could be talked into being gay as a man, but I think David could. Especially when you're, uh, ironically enough, this deep in the hole, which is yeah. how he's going to get out of it. Yeah, someone exactly. Deep in this hole. <laughs> this is the one that uh, people want the most. If you do music, they're not necessarily excited about that. It's uh, here's one of the things when you're going out there as an artist into the internet. Before we get into all of our other content. Oh, great. I always the way Dave. that I've learned how to deal with so many hecklers for so long. One of the uh, ways I've learned to deal with it. Heckler, don't call us that. That's disrespectful. Why is this? This has become like his new talking point, though. There, this is going to be three presentations in a row where he specifically called out the hecklers, the haters. I like to think it—it's his way of telling us he cares. 
<laughs> is that I just say to myself, okay. It really it, encourages me, so I hope that's what he's trying to do. It'd be much easier if he he should just call into the stream. We're gonna start yeah. quashing all uh, squashing all the beefs, dude. We actually should if if this if this uh, Saturday goes well, and you'll have already known by then, we should invite David on for a live. Yes, theoretically, our boy uh, Javi would have had a conversation yeah. with us on Saturday. If but it we'll didn't see. go well, it was the deep state's Art? fault. Yeah, or, or someone else's. Anyone but ours. It's completely subjective. <laughs> Some people said Andy Warhol had nothing to offer because he's taking Campbell's soup cans and he's, he's also very popping gay. them out there into <laughs> artwork and it's it's ridiculous. It's popped it out. It doesn't mean anything. Well, now those Andy Warhol pieces are incredibly valuable. So art is completely. But they do still subjective. kind of look retarded if we're being like honest. Velvet Underground, still band that had he's Andy not, Warhol you know, Van Gogh. On some of their covers, like Banana. Okay, so uh, banana. when you are banana sandwich <laughs> back in the time of Velvet Underground, we didn't have the internet, where Lou Reed would have just been mercilessly torn apart by so many trolls for the way his voice sounds and for didn't Lou Reed some do of the heroin content that they have in some of their Probably. albums? Probably, I don't know. Um, I don't think he'd care. I think he'd be doing heroin. Heroin does the tend to. Uh, strike it's hard to you know take heart. the haters seriously really when bizarre. you do heroin. Why? Why is he talking about dominatrix albums? Um. Where they, they're singing about a dominatrix, oh. and the guy says, strike dear mistress, cure his heart. It's just really bizarre kind of stuff like that. I'd never and, let uh, a woman do that to me. <laughs> abuse themes, you know, and it's being put out by the music industry, and it becomes like a cult hero for that. So art is very subjective. So when you go out there into is the it? world and you're trying to make a name for yourself, you got to remember that some people are going to like your art and some people are not going to like your but art. But this isn't art. The this is supposed to like be history. Have a very yeah, I thought this was a science. Yeah, yeah, hold on now. Yeah, because there, art is subjective. Yeah. But you can't make an incorrect painting. You can make incorrect predictions or you can say something incorrect about a past or present event. But... You can't really do that with art. Well, That's... you can't be a researcher and be like, well, let's not, you know, this is an art. Like, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I think research is, you know, qualitative by definition. So, like, I think it's a science. Typically, the point of research is to reach a point of truth, not to reach some sort of Now, uh, I will say what David does is an art because he's making up stories. Yeah, so he's a liar for money. It's... Well, he's creative. Let's yeah. not call him, you know, I don't want a negative connotation yeah, yeah. to it. That's why I tell people when they say I'm lying, like, no, I'm creative. Project in their writing as if it was very serious and very real. Is real? That doesn't change or diminish the value of the art to the people who do appreciate the art. And that's one of the things that is very difficult. We all have an inner child that wants to please everyone. This inner child wants to have everybody like me, and everybody's got to smile at me. And if well, that's anybody's frowning at me, then I get That sad. actually sounds like a lot of childhood no, trauma, that's, Dave. That's not how this works. If you want to go out there and be a public figure, you will be ridiculed. You will. Oh, be everyone's shamed. mother didn't love <laughs> like them, said, and now they have problems relating to people on an emotional posting. level. That's completely, you know, that's normal, right? I was in Richard C. Hoagland's discussion forum. He was the top guy on Art Bell. Uh -huh. That was the top show with 20 well, million listeners. Art Bell so was also, forum, you know, eating and pills. And that's where I got my debut, because them. a lot of people were in there, and they were all interested in these very enormously weird subjects that we were talking about. Things like, is there a face on Mars made out of some type of rock or material Turns out, no. no. Turns, <laughs> turns out it's just a shitty camera. Turns out, no. With kind of a headdress around it. And I believe the answer is yes. Are there pyramids right next to that that look just like pyramids in photos from NASA? Yes. There's photo, th uh, whatever it was that was going over Mars. I think it was Viking. I'm not entirely sure, but it was he really is the A72, quintessential ancient astronaut theorist. The just whatever the proposal is, I mean, he I says yes. So oh, as, as, as you know, yeah, know as professionals, they try to make themselves seem like the this is who they are. Really, really yeah. David is the spirit the animal of ancient astronauts, or ancient aliens, excuse me. He is the ancient astronaut theorist. The trolls we had in that forum was James O'Berg, and he's still out there doing it now. It's so funny. Doesn't matter how crazy if he's asking People something's possible, the answer is always park. yes. And then I would analyze these arguments online in great depth. And what I came to understand was that the trolls displayed something called intellectual dishonesty. Ooh. What this means is that they are not honest when you win a point in the argument. Him saying they simply this shift is their fucking insane. Oh, to a different we're strategy. the liar. Him saying this is... That is unbelievable. Now, we do use a different tactic. We don't really actually, you know debate you we just call you your homo banana sandwich yeah, yeah we, we have a different <laughs> approach to it but uh I, I i don't think i've ever heard dave 
own up to being wrong about something. I don't think he's ever said. In fact, part of the problem with where we're at in this current timeline yeah. is we're just running it back. That's how we got here. Everything he was wrong about in 2020, he has brought back, but this time he'll be correct. He he's never admits to being wrong. No, it's literally, it's the antithesis of what he does. But he's so crazy that he thinks the people... He's basically just projecting onto the uh, the criticism what he is doing. He must hate that we use his own voice against him so much. Banana sandwich. Who molested me deserve to be raped. I don't know why, but I have a feeling <laughs> really that like drives that him insane. Yeah, 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 it does. It's one thing to make fun of you ourselves, but to use your own voice to mock you. Deserve to be raped. It's very funny. <laughs> it's it's hilarious, really. Especially when most of those are me pulling together multiple clips. Oh, it's so beautiful. None of these deserve to be raped. Trolls were actually that's, disproving that's, anything. You shouldn't that say that, Dave. You don't say. deserve to be raped. <laughs> All they were doing was trying to attack. Deserve to be raped. Well, if you say so. Uh, well, if you say so, Dave. If you insist, I wouldn't. But you know. Oh, this. And so, you know, this is one of my favorite condescending David Wilcock things. Is he'll say a phrase that pretty much everyone knows, like ad hominem, and then he he uh, deems himself to the level of the intellectually superior or inferior, where he then defines that very basic term. You think if he does that, he believes if he reads any more books, he'll forget the other ones. Like there's a finite amount of storage in his hard drive. Yeah, probably. Because for someone who seems to like to brag about reading so much, he doesn't seem to do it anymore. He hasn't. Uh, he has mentioned a, a new book like ever. He, <laughs> I don't like, think he, that's probably why he has no new ideas. Is he's not reading any new materials. I, I think part of the problem is too is he, within the conspiracy space, everyone's got their own angle on things. So if you were to read a new book, you'd probably have to fundamentally adjust the entirety of your system to accommodate the new information. Yeah. And he probably just doesn't want to do that. Yeah, probably. Why? I mean, why do it when this has worked for so long? The data. data is science. Science is free. Science is investigation. It's the spirit of learning new things, and it's the spirit of peer review, where others get to look at what you've had to come up with. Okay, uh -huh. then please address the, the episodes we did where I, I went through all of your citations. Your data is also never really, you know, data you gathered. It's just random Russian shit you found. Yes, which has been thoroughly disproven. And he, is speaking of people who have not admitted they're wrong, it'd be nice for him to try and address that. Uh, I'll send you the paperwork, Dave. I have all my sources and, and a nice document readily available. And they can then draw their own conclusions based on your empirical data. You give them the roadmap uh -huh. on where they need to look and then they can follow up. And so what I like to do ever since those days of the forum wars is say, yeah, I don't want to get too stuck the in the forum theoretical wars? models. I don't want to get too stuck <laughs> in what some insider says. He takes internet forums way too seriously. Sure you guys can oh, I bet they made him cry. Room. Your hair looks nice. Love the jacket, in too, not sarcasm. Great to have you back. <laughs> Best looking truther out there. Okay, well, I don't know how much competition I have, but... Uh, Thankfully, there are Ooh. truthers out there. David's There's trying some. to get laid. You know, it's very scary it's to come while forward. For him, well, now he's got money again. He thinks he can attract a woman. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, let's read. Oh, it's the only way you could ever make it work. Money here, and she says, "Bless you, David. Big love and more courage for all." From New Zealand, the trolls are the Earth's stupidest. Your fans are here right now. Please start your presentation. Yeah, can well, someone super chat him, David? I I don't believe the rumors. You're not gay. Yeah, do something yeah. and not just sit here and watch other people talk. He's absolutely you know, gonna read it. Engage in this. That's the hero's journey. The subject of today's talk is the hero's journey. No. Nice. Uh, peaceable, <laughs> dressed to impress. Ah, says old Davy boy. You know he is the so, typical uh, hero. There you go. That means yeah, probably we're talking talk about, about the hero's journey, Arc. and this you is know, when Zeus was born, subject. So, he looked uh, like David. It is, critical, it is critically important to understand that history as we know it is not random. No, oh, no. But it well, yeah, I mean, it happens. That go through this thing called the hero's journey. This, we, this, He's literally, from the last presentation to now, we are just going chapter by chapter in the synchronicity key. That's all. This is like straight. If I pull up my outline, <laughs> we could predict what the rest of the presentation is I mean, is going to be. this is how you know his audience is, is pretty stupid because they never recognize that. Yeah, which, I mean, they probably just never read his book. They it's, also probably don't really care. ...logical structure, and we're going to go into more detail on that today. I was meditating on the last show. I haven't even had time to watch it. But in my meditation, don't I lie said, to you me. know what, I really didn't <laughs> David, you had a week. Wait, what are you talking about? about what you don't do anything really else. He's too busy. What, what do you mean is? you didn't have so, three and, hours and to sit down and watch lost, your own fucking stream? I don't want you to feel like you have to buy my product to understand this either. I want to make it understandable to everybody. So 
Uh, events are structured in history. Dude, he doesn't even do clips. He, oh, he doesn't do all. And, uh, oh, David, there's so much revenue we have left on the table. Guaranteed. Now, something I happy endings are guaranteed. Didn't even mention last time. Well, that yeah, we we couldn't possibly clip that out of context for our purposes. Oh, no. Hero's journey pattern. We would never. And uh, this also means that the happy hero endings has to come. are guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> now, happy endings are guaranteed. Thank something you, David. I didn't even mention last time is that the hero's journey can also be called the Christ path. And this is appropriate for Easter because this is Good Friday, of course, is when Jesus dies on the cross. Mm -hmm. The weekend that we're in now... Uh, Crucify him, Pontius. ...of time where he's <laughs> supposedly dead in the tomb. We and then want Barabbas. We want Barabbas. That's where there is a... Uh, Return, but the in a body they didn't who recognize was, uh, his face. What's the name of the actor who played Moses in that? Until in he Ten showed them his hands. And then they said, oh, we uh, have not James Conn. I don't remember no. who the fuck it was. Uh, is this Charlton Heston? Heston? Is that who it think, is? I think, yes, yes, I think so. I think they all have different pieces of this special part of the story in it. So, it's interesting to note that the face was so dissimilar that when Mary first saw him, she thought he was somebody else who was working in the area. This is different than the resurrection of Lazarus. And that's I like to imagine she walked that, in on a necrophiliac uh, just having <laughs> having his way with Jesus' corpse. He's fucking those he holes already, in his he hands. Lazarus back <laughs> Some from foot fetish. Okay. Jesus already did that. It was super so psyched about finding a hole in your feet. Oh, God, Mary, no, don't tell the other disciples. already on the list of miracles that had already been done. If you could do it for somebody else, you should be able to do it for yourself. But Lazarus looked the same. Jesus did not look the same. When he came out of the tomb, when they rolled away the stone, he looked Chinese. He had to show them his hands. <laughs> Me so Charlie. <laughs> it was the same guy. Now, why is that so significant? It's significant because his face uh, changed. Chinese. The way his body looked changed, and he was glowing. Me a lot of the fly so life. That's what, not what happened to Lazarus. So there is a difference oh. between. Uh. This forgiveness, please. Of being born again. <laughs> oh, you know, oh, oh, forgive them, whack. for they know not being what they do. Forgiveness, please. Uh, the just a Roman. Like, we don't like no Chinese. Stab him. Go back to Ching Chong Land. King of the Jews. Okay, yeah, look, here's the crucifixion wounds. Oh, okay, so you're, you're Jesus. Chinese okay, got Jewish it. guy. Boom, got it, buddy. You're Jesus. Okay, great. I never would have been able to figure that out. Oh, this rice too now expensive. Now that you show me the hands, it's cool. I got it. So then what I'm actually saying oh, is, yeah, wait that's good stuff. Said, Let's go back to the slide. The hero's clever. journey is the Christ path. And if you've been watching the previous shows, which hopefully you have been, uh, the good time. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what God Shane Gill has canceled. We just didn't use Andrew Yang. Me a lot of the fly life. Oh, well, he didn't do the voice. The wrong time. But the structure of events is is designed by a higher intelligence or God or the Creator, if you want to call it that. Talk about the haters again. That was yeah. higher yeah. intelligence. Do that, that for three hours. Yeah, acknowledge that we're getting to you. That'll make us and stop. This is a basic <laughs> blueprint for how you learn. Spiritual you must lessons negotiate with terrorists. Yeah. How we can be friends, or we can continue this, lessons, David. That's the whole reason we're here. You don't stop learning, and if you think that you do, you're just going to get hijacked with more karma. I'd also, so the you know, I'd rather not listen to a guy who's just lied for five years talk about Jesus. I mean, it's, it's a little loss. ironic. Yeah, it just yes. comes across as pretty insincere. Well, you know what, David, perhaps unlike Corey, strength, I do give him a slight courage, benefit. And, uh, bravery, I, I wonder perhaps if he would, didn't person. believe most of what he said. Uh, I think he did. I, I don't know. I think at a certain point he stopped believing it, because I would imagine that had a... Well, I mean, I would agree because of the hard shift to QAnon. Yes, and him also ceasing to work with Corey kind of indicates he probably became aware that that shit wasn't going to fly anymore. I mean, yeah, I'm sure eventually the dam broke. But I haven't heard him say anything about the fact that, you know, all of Corey's lawsuits got tossed out, so... I'm sure David's lawyers have probably actually told us, I mean, he has lawyers, have told yeah. him to ask, say absolutely nothing. There's nothing Perhaps good he could that say. That no. you got sitting in the garage and you always want to go in there and, I got to go get that done, man, and you just don't do it. Okay, any one of those ideas, if you just say, okay, you know what? I mean, somebody crashed into my car and I got to go out there with a hot sponge... What? And wipe off the paint from their car to try to make the dent look a little better. You know, Word. just try to spruce it up a little bit. You know, because again, there's a four-month wait list. What kind of car? Body work done on your car around here. Does after David this crazy have snowstorm that we had? 
so nobody's nobody can get their car worked. Well, what kind of it's car just... might a poor man drive? So I'm like, okay, I bet yeah, he bought it when he was doing and I can good. Go wipe that stuff off. Of course he did. I nice hope I money. hope he owns his so car. Water, you know. or, I mean, that wouldn't be but great. Nothing they can that's take. A quest. If I get that idea, and I then decide to carry through with that plan, that is one example of the hero's journey. Okay. The hero's journey represents a moment in your life. David, I don't want to have to rely on you, you being my hero in this journey. Again, thank you. No, it's all it's game over. If he's, yeah. if I, I don't even really want to rely on myself to be the okay, hero so in my journey, like let the alone hero's journey you. journey is this path that you're going through when you want something. You are uh, the hero always, so you are the star of your own play, and this is the same thing in dreams. Every character in your dream is somehow a projection or a reflection of yourself. Oh, that's so why you keep having sex journey, with yourself in your dreams. Yeah. Flaws, and this is also how they start that Hollywood woman you're, you're banging is just you well, is as a femboy. To be clear, he never has sex with the woman in his dreams. That's there's true. Been, there's been multiple dreams. Well, those are his nightmares. <laughs> there's been multiple dreams he's described where a woman has thrown herself at him and he yeah. has not gone through with it. Not today, sweetie. No. On a hero. He's too chaste. So he's oh, 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 God, girl. I just had a dream that I was having sweat. sex with a hot woman. Sell very oh, it's so scary. It was terrifying. I thought it was strange. Oh. <laughs> Otherwise, you have something called the narrative. They typically do. Oh, they can't hurt you. They can't hurt you. You do need to have parallel And then he touches his firefighter hunk calendar. Getting back to the point, the hero's journey starts with a wounded individual. And this is what the universe sees us as. We are flawed. We are damaged. We are growing through our wounds and our pain. Our I'm fear, into and that, anxiety, David. Yeah. Our shame and our horror. We're all a little fucked and as we grow up. But and you're as we a million in the hole. Yeah, yeah. As we evolve as beings, <laughs> you're you're we more, more. Some are more fucked than yeah. others. Yeah. Emotionally, we're about the same. Produces. Financially, Strength you're ruined. Is one of the things that the hero's journey produces. I could when find a quarter on the ground and be in better financial situation than day. If you want someone to love you, you have to become more loving in order to receive their love. You have to. Well, like I would have figured that out like two years ago, dude. Guys are, I, don't know, <laughs> guys are supposed to do this I would have. You'd have realized. Stuff on oh, table. I don't nice. Know what the hell it is, man. It's just freaking crazy. Get out of here. Is that his impersonation of a straight guy? From New York. What can I say? Oh, I thought it was Uncle Colin, but it's a New Yorker. So up, it was so funny. And then I just realized that, like, the things that I learned are really funny to God, repeat. I wish you would commit to and, the bits uh, the voices longer. voices that I heard are really funny to repeat. So that's part of my... Don't just give me a taste of the smoking New Yorker. Let me, let me get a full dose. Impersonations are one of the finest arts out of the Second City School that everybody was... Why? Nice. David is like getting deep into improv lore. I think he's going to go try and get into, into comedy, bro. Because why the fuck is he talking about Second City, which for those who don't know is like an improv school? Well, I mean, David is kind of a theater kid. I mean, look at his get up. Yeah, but he's not funny intentionally. Well, that's why he's not in it. <laughs> if he was, he would be in it, but instead he started talking lives, about UFOs. Including Mike Myers, who did all the Austin Powers movies, which I guess are now outdated because of how horny they are. Uh -huh. uh, but I thought they well, were that's one way to describe them, I guess. And the I don't know if I'd call them all horny. All characters was a very big inspiration for me. He's got Dr. Evil, he's got Fat Bastard. That makes sense, him being an Austin Powers fan. I was Powers stunned fan. by the quality Mike Myers, of his impersonation. Big inspiration really for Dave. Impression on me when I mean, Mike Myers has funny Austin voices. In the David loves funny voices. Everybody I agree, I do too, Dave. was laughing so hard. It was one of the most ecstatic things ever to watch the first 20 minutes of that movie, which is all just one big crazy sizzle reel of, of crazy stuff. The religious experience of seeing Austin down. Powers. But that is so funny to imagine someone just being... Completely blown away crazy. by Austin Powers. And yeah, it's, it's very <laughs> I have to do theater now. It's so crude. It also has gross out humor. Uh -huh. But, you know, I, that was a case where I just went to the movie and I'm like, I don't know about this thing. There's by some myself. guy and his head is bald and he's doing this and it looks really like, maybe it's funny, but it looks really freaking weird. And there's this guy with buck teeth and glasses and uh -huh. I don't know what the hell this thing is, but hell, I'm just going to go in there and check it out because I'm bored and what the hell. And I ended up it's so much fun just like him no talk about random bullshit. The same thing happened with The Matrix, which came out the same year. Oh, I walked nice. in there. Like, I don't know. There's these people that are, you know, hanging their arms up in the air like this, and they're all. Doing I bet this the Matrix freaked out Dave at that point. Well, he is Neo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. From the. Oh fuck. my God! How do they know? <laughs> he wrote about he wrote about the Matrix in one of his books. I'm trying to remember what he said about it. Obviously, it has. Did to you do know with the, the directors journey. are trans now? <laughs> they also just the other day I saw they're making another uh, Matrix movie without the Wachowskis. So, well, maybe it won't suck. I don't know what the heck this thing is. It might be all right. It might be cool. You know, Lawrence Fishburne looks awesome. Uh -huh. They got their cool leather jackets. Okay, I'll check it out. What the hell? And then I watched the movie. I'm just like stunned at how good it was. 
Uh -huh. And I think a lot of people were. The Matrix really was a revolutionary film for its time, and it brought in a lot of these interesting concepts that would be deemed philosophical. See, this is why I can't admit that The Matrix is my favorite movie, is because people like David. Yeah, the other <laughs> fans have really ruined it. Yes. Philosophy getting into the concept of, who am I? Am what? I gay? Uh, I'd also like to point out, I was like nine years old when I saw it. David was like 30. <laughs> yeah, David would have been, yeah, just about 30, I yeah, think. Yeah, he's 50-something. He's 20 years older than us. Why am I here and what am I living in? And The Matrix, of course, gives us this other view that perhaps the world that we live in is some type of computer simulation. And so people philosophically geeked out on that extensively. And I was seeing that in Richard C. Hoagland's discussion forum. Yeah. This concept of... Where all the best minds very go together. Because well, how do we know that there isn't something else? And then when you get into reincarnation, the really fascinating things about reincarnation I spoke about last time, I'm getting a lot of super chats here, so I'll just kind of yeah, watch them go by. <laughs> I want to stay on topic. I don't, I don't want to get lost. When we get on yeah, this God topic forbid you get off topic discussing the yeah, Matrix oh, and Austin Powers. Oh, no. He's like a homeless person who just <laughs> discovered they have a talent. We are 20 minutes into this, and he is not started i hope he never does to be honest <laughs> with you before, it's facial similarities to talk about movies it's for three hours dave astrology matches like we had in my case with edgar casey there's astonishing astrology matches it's billions to one against chance it's the best alignment with casey's planets in 157 years after his death that was calculated by independent astrologers and i just had somebody recently send me an email and they said that they've now calculated the death chart of Casey with my birth chart. Uh oh. And there's some very, very astonishing and perfect. Well, that's terrible, David. Charts as well. I didn't even know that. <laughs> that means you're going to die soon. It's also so cool that you can just send him something and he believes it. I know. We really should have been trying. If we were really, really you know, had the time, uh -huh. we would become, you know, informants of his and just fake an identity and start feeding him information. It's never too late. And now with you know, access to chat GPT and such, it's even easier to write those kinds of emails. To yeah. Someone. I can utilize AI for my schizo posting needs. Yeah, like we could become Gonzalez. Yes. <laughs> you know. So getting back to the core point, which this is Christ path concept. How in the how world to pray the like gay away. <laughs> wiping off his car in the garage be compared to the story of Christ? Well, the story of Christ has the hero's journey in it. If you want to know what the hero's journey is, you got to look at the whole story of Christ. Yeah, well, he dies, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, when are you going to die? The main reason and, I don't you know, usually defeat talk about death. that is that people get so freaked out about religion and Christianity in particular. For some people, it's a trigger. They actually will get angry. They'll get defensive. They don't want to hear these words. They you don't mean want to hear blaspheming the Christ, their <laughs> faith? <laughs> like, yeah. Claiming to be really the savior? Career, yeah, I mean, I guess I would suppose the more religious be. folks would okay, have, you know, you know, some know, qualms I'm not with push that. Push anything on you, but we are right next to Easter, so this is the appropriate time to do it. And I'm not going to push anything. I'm just going to share philosophy. So yeah, you would never push anything. No, we never push this out. It says, okay, there's a big computer, and we're all inside the computer. Uh, living out our dream world when in fact we're really in these disgusting gooey pods uh -huh. that we have this thing down our mouth and all these plugs in us and we're floating in this goo and we're just a battery for some type this of shift to christianity machine. is baffling and then the machine controls us inside the matrix well, when you agents. get that deep in the hole now, Smith, i suppose you need to find the, the lord most brilliant uh forms of evil ever and that gets to the i mean i still blame q anon for that because q anon made villain. it part of the, the storyline so he had to adopt it that I suppose that is the genesis of it. Uh, I'm noticing his slides don't really have any information. All the slides so far have been like five to ten words apiece. It's possible he didn't actually really make many. He uh, he also does this thing where he just more is better because he does yeah. it with his books. He'll always say, you know, how many citations, how many pages. And I think for this, he just likes saying he has like 400 slides when it yeah. probably could have been like 70 slides yeah. if he just condensed okay. them. So this part of why the Matrix slide. works so well as a film is that Agent Smith is such an incredible villain. Right at the beginning, when he wants Neo to stop talking, Neo's mouth just closes up into flesh. He can't use his mouth anymore. That's really freaking scary. Like, who the heck can do that? Some type <laughs> That's of how I magic. make my money. Oh, well, there's agents <laughs> that can my control mouth. you in the Matrix. And it wasn't until the end of the Matrix where Neo is shot to death by Agent Smith, and then he resurrects, right? He's, there's a resurrection there. And he comes up and he holds out his hand like this, and Agent Smith shoots at him. Uh -huh. uh, is he going to cry? I was just about to ask you that. He's crying at the plot of The Matrix. Come on now. Is David pregnant? <laughs> I don't he's, he's just full of estrogen, what probably. Is, <laughs> what is going on? Why? The sick still frame. 
Uh oh, now it's too. <laughs> <laughs> David's too emotionally moved by the plot of the Matrix. (laughs) That came out of nowhere. Neo, stop at the bullet. (laughs) Like, what the fuck? What is it? Why is that? You know, uh, well, I I can actually explain it. Uh, The reason why this moves him so greatly is because that is his fate. He believes he's Neo. He's going to access the Matrix, and he's going to be able to stop all this. But I do believe some part of him recognizes he has to die, in a sense, to accomplish this that'd be st- i mean look that is probably the end phase of this where david just starts going i'm gonna have to die before this can all happen but the problem is he thinks he'll resurrect which is not generally how things work in this lifetime that'd be so funny if david just came to the realization like i actually i think i have to die i begrudgingly accepted it <laughs> i've never seen a man cry at the major <laughs> that came out of nowhere too it wasn't even an emotional topic let's enjoy it again from the top uh, huh. DJ Green Lantern. Green Lantern. And he comes up and he holds out his hand like this, and Agent Smith shoots at him. It really just look there. It's <sighs> is like he faking this? Twenty three fifty three. No tears. Like this, and Agent Smith shoots at him. Twenty three. Two seconds later, he's either getting more emotionally unstable because that's such a drastic switch, or. Or he faked this. I well, let's see. I don't think he's faking it. I don't really think he is either. He was just trying to break out of the matrix. <laughs> and all the bull, all the bullets come down. <laughs> no, come on now. <laughs> is this? <laughs> Whoa. I I don't understand what's going on. Look at his face. Look how concerned he is. <laughs> Uh, uh, good stuff, Dave. See, well, this is why I, I really wish he didn't even use his stupid his powerpoints. I mean, you could, I could never write something this funny. No, just have a man in a in that jacket. jacket <laughs> yes, crying as about the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> and that moment was very powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, you know, he's really Didn't crying. He- Holy shit. And they were making fun of me because I had special abilities. I've made a mistake. I'll find the drop later, but there's one where he says, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry. You're going to get shot. We are screwed, man. Going to lose. I'm sorry, folks. There There it is. is. (laughs) Yeah. I knew it sounded familiar. Sorry. I'm sorry, folks. (laughs) Didn't mean to do that. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> oh, okay. No, he's he's falling apart. Okay. I did yeah, that yeah, in the yeah. midst of my most severe manic episodes. I'd start crying out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's always a fun one. I'd yeah. just like I'd be sitting playing video games. I'm yeah, like, why, am like, why am I crying? Why am I crying? Yeah, it's like, what the fuck is going on? I was reading the papers, like, what the this isn't even a sad story. I was like, I think something's wrong. This newspaper is so beautiful. Yeah, it's like, what the hell? <sighs> yeah, he's got a uh, again, I'd like to point out that two weeks ago, he's like, I stopped taking my medication. Yeah. And then now he's crying, talking about the plot of the Matrix. Right about when, you know, that would all start getting to you. So the hero is only as good as the villain. So the hero is <laughs> only as good as the villain. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Damn. He's falling apart at the 24 minute mark. He goes, They were like, making fun of me because I had special <laughs> abilities. He also, he also goes on another full three hours. Oh, boy. And uh, in this case, you know, the villain Agent Smith is very, very powerful. That's yeah. us. So We're Agent Smith. That moment Hell yeah, where dude. the hero is able to transcend death. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is insane. Uh, choking up about the Matrix is so funny. I don't remember who I was uh, going back and forth with in the YouTube comments, or maybe it was on Patreon the other day, but it... We are getting very close to the the yogurt stream level. We're getting oh, we're getting there of his insanity. We, we never, are like right. We never thought we'd get back there, but we're getting fucking breaking up at the matrix yeah. is pretty close. Because the yogurt stream, that's like a ten out of ten on the crazy. This is a very solid like eight and a half, eight point seven five. Oh, are, this is up there. We're approaching elite territory. He's oh well, no, he's breaking down again. If he cries enough, this goes to a nine. Well, he knows. I, I, I genuinely think as he's recognizing he has to die for, for Dude, the hero's journey. what if he journey. does that live during the stream? He's, this is the stream where he figures it out. <laughs> I, I, I have to die like Neo. 
Well, because that you know that happens in Harry Potter too. He's got to willingly die. David. Oh God, that's a you know that actually is a karmic test of his you know faith. Like you really think you're this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're Are you? Better... Do you think enough that you'll die and come back? Uh, wow, this is because if he says no, then he has to deny who he was. Movie. Yeah, it taps into this archetypal knowledge that we have as people. There's a knowingness inside ourselves that this transformation will occur. We are all the Matrix. <laughs> And, but, <laughs> not, but, an idiot. <laughs> like in, in some hero uh, journeys, if I go out and clean my car, the transformation uh, is just that my. This car is my nicer. favorite part: is he's comparing like Jesus being crucified to him cleaning his car. Yes, yes, to which is out so, a scra- which a is scrape. so cool to be like. My hero's journey was uh, moving the snow in my driveway. I have to buy turtle wax. <laughs> <laughs> if the transformation is that you fall in love with someone, then that means that now you have a new person in your life. And, you know, you, you have the joy and the happiness. Well, you don't. That provides no. you. <laughs> and that's what's supposed to happen, right? That's theoretically. Oh, no. In terms of, you know, the logic of relationship, that's what she's oh, God. Cheating, bitch. Damn, David <laughs> so got off his meds and, and it's yeah. all hitting him. Yeah, it's all Everything's back. Everything's <laughs> fine. Damn. <laughs> oh, to finally realize all this after you finally get off whatever psych meds they had him on. Does someone go through his garbage. I got to know what meds he was on. There's a very important polar opposition between the hero and the villain. And so the, the villain has to be very, if the very bad. the were making him sleep, you know, I'm trying to do the math in my head. The, some of the, like, Remeron-type... Lithium, maybe? Drugs they give you for sleep can... Springboard the hero mess into you up a that little. transformation that's bringing the that I can't talk. Could be eating That transformation ambient. is real. It's not just got to be a combo, Smith I think. Shooting Neo and him getting up from the dead and stopping the bullets, okay? This is a moment that happens in our lives when we over... When we override our selfishness... Well, that's why he was so we, mellow for a few months. It does kind of... Exp- they drugged him up. That would also actually explain the uh, the dry mouth, too. The constant need for water. That's a very common mm, yes. side effect. I can't wait for when David uh, tries to fight the cops and stop the bullets with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be such a funny sketch. You did, you did someone who thought they were Neo in the Matrix, and they get in a car chase, and the cops start shooting at them, and they put their hands up to stop the bullets, but they just get lit up and fucking die. That didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> They're just floating up to heaven like, no. oh, I goofed. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> beyond our stumbling blocks. When we engage I our story, I was we just the blood bubbling out of his video. mouth. Yeah. That was Inside a mistake. That we'll stand up against the in our lives. And so, um, as I said before, I wrote an entire book on this called The Synchronicity. We know, Dave. I realized dead. after we wrote it and after we came up with this, uh, first of all, we? my publisher said, okay, we got to make the cover of the book red in order to honor Carl Jung's book Synchronicity because it was called The Red Book. When he came out with it, it was all red. Very clever. So we said, yeah, we got to make it a red book cover. But what I realized later on was that the key actually was Christ, and the necklace that the key is on are like the arms, the crucified arms. And what, what was behind wow. it was the blood. Well, because you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, this whole book is about the hero's journey. This whole book is about this cosmic Christ concept. That It's Jesus funny to believe in Jesus so much and know that he's never read the bi- read the bible well it's also just outside like, of maybe like revelations this is another one of the bizarre developments we have seen in the conspiracy community is for a very long time the conspiracy was that like religion was yeah. made to control people it's a way to control the masses man yeah and it was some sort of you know pagan satanic like devil worship yeah. thing in for disguise some reason, not buddhism though bro <laughs> yeah so david went from being one of those guys to becoming Christ in a period of about five years. Yeah, and again, to his credit, you know, this actually was a lot of the conspiracy community. It's very yeah, odd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Never yeah. did I think religion and severe conspiracies would combine, and I see it's a disaster. It's really, I, I, they just, whatever the counterculture is, that's what they need to be part of, and now it's more counterculture to be religious than it is to not be, like, atheism yeah. used to be edgy. But it's also edgy to be kooky. Yeah, so you just kind of combine the two. I just think they're posers. Get out of here. This was our space. Go back to church. Yeah. Stop talking about the government plots. Those are ours. <laughs> Through a human life, or an allegedly human life, he dialed in these coordinates oh, no. that Jesus show was you an this alien? story. Well, he was six-dimensional. Joseph Campbell, which will oh, be that's right, here, yeah. shows up in all these different ancient mythological traditions. Oh, oh. This really so is just straight from the synchronicity key. The reason why we keep telling He really is just a comic doing the same set for, for decades. Near, this hero's but it works. Journey. He sells out, you Pure, know, enough clubs to what make Joseph a living. Campbell called oh no, monomyth. <laughs> he can't. Mono- 
What, he's crying about Joseph Campbell now? What Joseph Campbell called. Hold on, run it back a little more. God, he's just, he's crying at random shit. We're, we're off to an interesting start here. Yeah. Why other stories are discarded is that they get near this hero's journey, pure, <laughs> what Joseph Campbell called a monomyth. It, the monomyth being so... Is he... This isn't a sad thing. I don't... Yeah, he's just talking about the hero, like... But was that him trying not to cry, or was that some weird form of like uh, diaphragmic spasm? I don't, I don't know, dude. Something that is one story, and for whatever reason, people keep having dreams, they keep having visions, they and keep people having have stunning those. experiences yeah. with alleged angelic or extraterrestrial beings, and the stories that they tell then follow this pattern. So you look at Greek mythology, you look at Native American mythology, you look at Celtic mythology. You look at uh, uh -huh. Turkish mythology, Byzantine mm -hmm. myths. You go back to even uh, speaking Sumerian, of Turkish. Talk about uh, the Turkish. Doesn't even matter where in history you oh, go. Oh, at this point, Every we're going to be getting there soon. Those are his disciples. <laughs> we're we're going to be talking to the animals and very soon. One of you will betray me. Similar to Judas <laughs> washing one of their yeah. feet, washing their feet. Yeah. It's just him and a bunch of turkeys eating the Last Supper. He's just breaking They're off bread. And this is my body throwing him <laughs> fucking pieces of bread, and this is There's my blood pouring out fucking west, wine. Against a villain, oh. And the villain nearly kills him. He looks like he's dead. He rises from the dead. That's Easter. And ah, Dave, please don't villain. believe you will literally into, defeat as death. As he rises from the dead, you go into Act Three. The last. Do you think that's the only way he thinks he can defeat the debt? I, it, there's there's got to be some sort of law that if you legitimately die, the debt is waived. That's so right? funny to imagine Jesus dying to avoid his debt that he got from the Jewish people yeah. that hated him. <laughs> he just didn't want. And pay then he him came up. back and they brought him to court and like, Your Honor, he came back to life. <laughs> therefore, the debts should still count. Like, no, Your Honor, I've died. The debts are gone. They're no, Your Honor, technically we got a clause in the contract <laughs> that says if you come back to life, it still counts. There was a guy who was on death row who tried to pull this because they uh, they fucked yeah, up they his execution. Yeah, they injected him too many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It didn't kill him. He's yeah. like, Look, the deal was I would get executed but you guys didn't pull it off so i kind of be free i kind of think they should have let him out i think so too uh, he probably would have killed again but you kind of earned it if you defeat death yeah into more detail on that now in the book synchronicity key we also talk about the twenty-five thousand year cycle extensively and how yes. it's described in the <laughs> yes you do as a length of time david you need to write has, your biography they call it a cycle and it leads or maybe up let to us write it'd be funnier quantum leap and I talk about this in the book. There's a quantum leap, and it's associated with the sun giving off a bright flash of light. Oh, in many okay. different ancient mythologies. There is a We're solar back flash. To the solar flash. It. It's not a supernova. The sun doesn't explode. It well, just yeah, that'd be <laughs> silly. It blows off some, like a full corona. Let's not be crazy here. Corona mass ejection. The whole entire full halo of the sun. Full halo, is corona he, mass ejection. Is he? But then, isn't the it sun coronal? stays intact. Mass ejection, not this Corona mass ejection. I'm not sure on that. But but David's been flash, drinking. There's a lot of insinuation, <laughs> and then you connect some dots on these data oh, points. Corona, and it's all Crown, there, David's the king of the Jews now. Cycle. I got drunk and, and called him the cycle, a solar flash. <laughs> well, the solar flash is apparently catastrophic to life on Earth. It would cause a pole shift. Yeah, he pulled the Mel Gibson. Why are you looking at sugar tits? Apparently, they didn't like that. You get 80... Now they want to crucify me financially. Just smile and blow off. Me. <laughs> Forty to four hundred feet of rock. Oh, I said that to a man. I have had those dreams, I have all these disaster dreams, from like 2009 to 2013, in in so many examples of every type of weird, catastrophic. See, if I kept dreaming about the end of the world, I'd get concerned. As if they were happening to me, I'm screaming. Well, he did. I'm watching volcanoes. I'm as watching as, the earth these, open up. See, I'm these are nightmares. The screaming as you me. get, you know, burned alive so in a volcanic I'd plume. I'm crying sometimes. These dreams are so bad. I, I, I just, I don't think it's healthy to think about the end of the world this often. You yeah. can't, you can't think about topics like that this often without it creeping over into the other aspects of your life. Yeah, not with his disposition. I had like 50 or 60 of them at least. Every single type of weird earth change, including one. You're not helping the mental building. illness charge here, no. Dave. We were able no. to figure out somehow that there had just been all this rock that had gotten dumped on top of us, and we're just only going to live as long as whatever food we can find in the building. I mean, horrifying dreams. You've like been that. thinking about death a lot, and Dave. That's what I was into. You know, <laughs> yeah, I was in the he has to die. Back no, in it it all makes sense. Now. Everybody's expecting the big pole shift. Everybody's expecting earth changes. Everybody's expecting what? tsunami. Not everyone is expecting those. So only David is expecting well, these things. David and preppers. And, you know, Everyone. Said in 1998, and, and that ended up being 
something that didn't happen. We, yeah. we altered David the David needs timeline. to start a Discord. There was a timeline where we could have lost our planet in 1998. Okay. See, this, this is, you know, at the beginning he was talking about how the critics can't admit when they're wrong. He just said something where Edgar Casey was 100% wrong, which is, you know, the, the end of the world will come about in 1998. As best I can tell, that is not the case, as we are still here. But his reasoning isn't that Casey was wrong. It's that we altered the timeline. Well, yeah, David's got this beautiful loophole where when you're wrong, that just means you were more right. It's you literally all the claims are unfalsifiable because you're right. Anytime something doesn't happen, it just means we altered the course of yeah, history. We were so right. It didn't happen, which I'd like to point out. That's just how history is formed. It's a result of all our decisions. Like everything only kind of happens because we make choices that lead to those things. Yeah. But what if we did it because of the you know timeline changing through our sheer will willpower? We should cry about the Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> the Wachowski sisters are beautiful. <laughs> and anybody who says now, otherwise is a big where, Okay, supposedly the Mayan calendar end date of December 21st. Yeah, could those savages have been wrong? Oh, that's when there's going to be a solar flash. Oh, that's I've when they ran out of virgins to sacrifice. Oh. And I probably have some of it in synchronicity key here as well. Sucks to make that really whole calendar and then have your you know civilization disappear. Yeah, they didn't so even I get to see the end. Bummer. Getting really into the science of what the heck is going on. The science. But then the law of one source also said that the twenty-five thousand years is a major cycle, and that it's also, it also has minor cycles in it that very dramatically affect our lives. Uh -huh. And I was able to figure out that when they said minor cycle, they must be talking about children. The age of the zodiac. Oh. <laughs> So right now, that's we're in, the bicycle he rides to go molest children. Yeah. The minor cycle, it's minor cycle. <laughs> Age of Aquarius, Instead of a diddle a van, van, he has a minor cycle. Who molested me? In France. <laughs> Look at my sizzle jacket, kids! Isn't it cool? <laughs> when we went, I got candy. Right from the Age of Pisces. Not the good the stuff. I can't Aquarius, afford it. Like I got this from, from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so again. <laughs> Very Anyone weird. Want some spicy sour patch. Year that you're supposed to go into the <laughs> age of bullshit candy. They have. <laughs> Aquarius is the exact same year that the Mayan calendar ends on December twenty first, twenty twelve. Yeah, but that didn't Entrance happen. Into the age of Aquarius and this whole other system of astrology, which is from the other side of the planet across the Atlantic Ocean. You're telling I feel me that like that we've already heard this. Didn't he do this the last same time? Information in it? I mean, he's absolutely done this before. I've definitely the heard the, calendar, the it age ends of on Aquarius the same pitch. year, and one length, one of them is five thousand one hundred twenty-five years long, and the other one is cry about it, David. <laughs> oh yeah, it's no big deal. They just happen to land. Right, but twenty-one sixty does not go into the other number equally. Sure, it time. does. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Damn, killed the asking. glass. David, we're 34 minutes in, <laughs> brother. Like give up your beliefs or anything? I think he just has a stack <laughs> of them. Does. I'm just no, tell got... you, oh, wow, he, he really does have more clips. Say, look, he's a thirsty boy. How in the hell do you explain well, that? Well, he brought the whole picture. <laughs> how in the heck, if you're just going to not start be drinking right out of that. inflammatory rhetoric skeptics... We take it out of the he heme really here. concede in an intellectual discussion. Is that us? Are we inflammatory rhetoric skeptics? I kind of like that. That's not bad. That's kind of a nice title. I, we're the IRS. It would. Do, ooh. Damn, ooh, Dave. You might have just given us a new name, brother. Ooh, we just we're auditing. His. Yeah, we're taking that. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> we audit idiots. And we usually go after your character. Please explain That's to me our why new company. On the IRS. We audit you don't think retards. That means anything? Here's the problem with this point. Damn, Nothing. Now I want that on a T-shirt. It really is. It's we're so, the idiot audits. It's really so smooth. auditors. He keeps talking about. They both landed on the 2012 date, but nothing happened in 20, 2012 was 12 years ago. Well, but once again, it did, but we, you know, because we did something. Right, timeline shift. Yeah, it just didn't in this one. He also kind of confusingly talked about this in the Michael Prophecies where we're, we're re- that was a good pause screen. We're reliving, uh, I think, some form. We're living that time period as well as 2020 again. Mm. So he's just, he, he's created two systems by which he can't be wrong. Well, it's kind of like Marvel being like, hey, what if the superheroes were black? Look look at him frown. <laughs> he's the master of faces. I'll give him that. He ha He's very Jim Carrey-esque. Yes. And then you find out, wait a minute, you take the age of the Zodiac, mm -hmm. 2,160 years, and you multiply it by 12, and you get and therefore, 25, it was legal. years. That's this cycle the law of one says. <laughs> That you get this quantum leap at the end. Your Honor, yeah, in another timeline, <laughs> I altered the timeline. On the other timeline, that kid was 18. 
that you become like this elevated human. You become some type of new human. That's why he was fucking buffing Similar out his to, car. Yeah, he was why did he not recognize Get rid of the evidence. He already pulled like off the... That was blood he was cleaning. Reincarnation. Well, regular, like, reanimation from the dead with Lazarus. But Lazarus looked the same, right? They're not so Lazarus. When Jesus comes out looking like somebody <laughs> else, and then he's, he's got to show them his hands. Uh, just Beth going, body. David, you're you not know, Lazarus. That's what the prophecy says is going to happen. Sure to I am. <laughs> You will have a new body. It will You're be gonna betray body, me, aren't you? And it's activated by this solar change. Before so the turkey was really crows, <laughs> was taking a concept that the I thought was so told me. there could be no science behind it. This concept of ascension or rapture in the Bible, like the concept of what Jesus appeared as during Easter, right? And I'm thinking to myself, okay, am I fucking up the Easter story? I don't remember Jesus looking radically different. I remember the holes in the hands and feet, but. I, I, doubting Thomas, I, I remember him doubting him, but didn't yes. he just he fingered his Yeah, hand. he fingered the hole. I don't remember him saying he looked wildly different. He fingered the hole and was like, well, I'm convinced. It doesn't really make <laughs> any sense. You got me, Jesus. That this, if they're saying that something big is going to happen to Earth, there would have to be some corollary scientific data that we can look at that, that where we say, yeah, I can get it. Okay, yeah, I mean, there sense. should. I yeah, there should be evidence. You're definitely right there. Happen. So I figure just on a pure level of, of regular science, any type of regular science, if you're going to change into something else, you got to have an energetic shift. There's got to uh -huh. be a surge in energy. If we're going to change into these light bodies, the amount of energy in us has you to go up must love somehow. Dragon Ball Z. And that was what got me into Richard Hoagland's just world Just watching it and place. crying. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Change. I wish I could go Super Saiyan. From NASA showing that our entire solar system is going through this massive energetic charge-up. And that massive energetic charge-up is visible in terms of... Is that of making you cry? The increasing, the magnetic fields increasing. <laughs> they get these new aurora no, borealis it's just magnetic the fields. They get these <laughs> plasma uh, clouds. They're getting more volcanic activity, more heating. They're getting, again, global warming on Mars. Mars ice caps are melting. Well, there's no, Venus like, atmosphere on Mars. percent brighter on the night side just since the 1970s. Jupiter had an amazing amount of stuff going on. Same thing with Saturn. Same thing with Uranus. Uranus oh, yeah, planets have histories. Uranus? Yeah, Uranus. Is that the new... I heard Uranus and Uranus, but... Uh, I don't think that's the right way to say it. Okay, no. I don't think... I guess he probably just doesn't want to be caught on camera saying the word anus. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we would have fun with that. Who molested me? Neptune is going through <laughs> staggering brightness increases. Pluto I'm surprised he could pass up the joke. The yeah. Earth is There's gas in your anus. <laughs> not to loosen cloud formation. Hit the button. There was a new belt. They actually call it new belt. Showed up in 1998 in the Van Allen belts of our Earth, and it's it's interstellar material that doesn't usually show up on Earth. We I had, had to add another notch to my Van Allen belt. percent increase in volcanic activity, natural disasters. It's it has nothing to do with you know. Has he said change. anything it's yet? Not going to be happening. Whether Nothing that's not, not about the movies or haters. So, no I, matter what we're doing to the Earth, this feels there is some disjointed. Big cycle dragging the whole solar system Even more this. so than usual. And again, I mean, he does seem to be kind of winging it. He's not using his slides. Up to an but he said he had so many. Distribution, a, a, a sort of an arc out from the sun. The planets are getting hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. They're getting brighter and brighter. They're doing all this weird stuff. It's been cataloged by NASA. This is one of the things I built my whole career and reputation on, was doing no, all this we science. Know. <laughs> and it's freaking mind-blowing. Because where is this going? What is going to happen? Well, when research isn't really science. Reaches, <laughs> when our solar system reaches a certain energetic level, because the planets are just getting, you know, they're getting hotter and hotter, like something's going on. Whoa, well, man. The answer again would be the sun could have a coronal arc discharge. It can release a bunch of energy all at once. And clear oh, my and debt. Relax again. <laughs> but in the process, our solar system is transformed. And this is a biologically active transformation uh -huh. that changes who you are as a soul and activates this light body that got me crying when I was thinking about it in the matrix. But it, it, here's part of the problem, though. If it's a biological process, he should be able to give us the mechanism by which that development occurs, right? Like, we understand human biology pretty good. Right. So there should be some sort of core concept he could refer to that would have some, like, there should be some basis for this if it's biological. Yeah, there's no there there. Because he can't just, you know, like I yeah, was talking... What, what specifically? Biology is very technical. Well, yeah, and like I was talking about, you know, may, maybe he just thinks, like, uh, my, my faulty charger, just the extra energy will do something, but we don't actually... Like there's there's no mechanism by which the extra energy would help yeah. our body. We don't we're not able to use electricity yet. Matrix. Not yet. That's an example of the moment just he plugging stands it into up and his asshole. Bullets. It's just so freaking awesome. <laughs> so again, I'm looking for the solar flash, right? And then I, I stumble across one of my greatest Eurekas of all time, okay? That came out of the understanding 
that the 25,000 year cycle is caused Come. by our orbit around <laughs> another star, which is very likely to oh be. Oh, God, Alpha is this the fucking Pentagon? Alpha Centauri thing again? has two Alpha Centauri stars, and then it also has a little guy oh, got two called stars. Proxima Centauri. He's a lot smaller. Like that my star, penis. Which again, we're right next to it, 4.7 light years away. <laughs> Proxima Centauri, the little guy over here, uh -huh. had a solar That's flash. That's what Beth called it, time, Proxima we Centauri. <laughs> December 21st, 2012. The light didn't get to us until March 2016. I think it was March 17th or something like that. I calculated the dates. I've done that. Again, it's in this video that's available at thedisclosure.com. We'll talk uh -huh. about that in a minute. But I did all the math, and it's also in several of my YouTube videos. Would you mind showing it to us? I don't want yeah. to keep repeating things. Some of you guys get mad at me if I do that. But yeah, because you've been doing it for a decade straight. Out, uh, yeah, I was going to say, oh, you repeat things? Never. Binary solar never. System. And then we're also dealing with geometry that could be coming off of these stars in a large enough pattern that as they orbit each other, they're going through geometry that the other one is making well, that's how an orbit They're looks when you draw it out geometric patterns <laughs> they make you shapes see them. They're invisible but they represent essentially gravitational stress points and there's these areas where gravity is going to spin faster and that gravitational spin I call the source field and it's associated with biological life and your level of consciousness so if you go to a higher vibration it literally means your soul starts evolving, you become smarter. But that's not a biological process. A we can't just vibrate to a higher level. Process. I mean, unless we so get again, shot with DMT, <laughs> that's the closest I've ever come to vibrating. Alpha Centauri in the middle, and you put the sun on the outside. I wouldn't want to do that permanently. No, and say, no okay, it that's wasn't. A circular orbit. Yeah, it wasn't terribly it's comfortable. Take Twenty-five thousand years to go through that orbit. So then, when I started to think about the twenty-five thousand years that way. Uh -huh as a circle, okay? And then I start to say, well, all of these cycles could chop up the circle into little pieces. So is there any way to do that with the Mayan calendar? And when I discovered it, I got so excited, I literally started running around. This was one of the greatest things in my whole life. Oh my God, <laughs> oh my God. That, true. So I found out it's pentagonal. The 5,000 oh, yeah, year right. cycle There's is a... pentagonal. I showed you this last time. Well, it has a five in it. So. Okay, he did say he showed us this last time because I was about to say, I'm almost positive we went over this literally last week. I want to explain a little better. So again, we live in a binary solar system with a 25,920 year orbit. We talked about that. We're orbiting Alpha Centauri. These different cycles that the Law of One and other sources talk about, they all, in their own way, add up to 25,920 years, including the Mayan calendar and the ages of the zodiac. So here it is, folks. This was my big breakthrough. I was so excited when I found I remember right where I was, up in my bedroom in Topanga. Is that actually accurate? I don't, I'm not going to pull 5, out a calculator. 5,125 years times sure. 5 is 25,625, which again yeah, that'd be, is very, very close that'd to 25,920. Okay, there we go. That's what I was trying to think of. That number, that number does not match the number he said. This number. Well, that's why he had to explain again. This number. That's right, by the way. I just did it in my yeah, head. The, this number is not 25,920. It's, it's. Almost a 300-year difference. Oh, he redid the math. 25,920 <laughs> is actually a measurement of this wobble in the Earth's axis. And when they calculate, it's called the precession of the equinoxes. And supposedly the Earth is counter-rotating. And we're watching the constellations drift. So if you're like in Central America and you want to build a pyramid in ancient times and you want to align it with the stars, guess what, dude? In 72 years, you're off by one degree already because the stars don't stay in the same place during the solstice uh -huh. or during the equinox. They oh, so they're the they idiots. During the equinox, so it's called precession. Stupid immigrants. The yeah. <laughs> stars are moving. That's what happens when you don't use American labor. <laughs> Mexicans fucked it up. In the pure sense to go through that. But when they actually calculate the precession, it's closer to 25,627 years, which oh. is only two years away from this. Right, but it's still, it's not that. And both when of those are that, 300 like, wow. away from the other one. Because we don't... There's, there's some this kind is my of other cav disruption. favorite caveat he does. It's like, well, it's close enough. Yeah, all all numbers are kind of close yes. it, by by this logic. Being 300 years plus or minus is a pretty significant. I mean, if we were to say that about now, you know, we'd be between 1700 and 2300. Feels like a very large time frame. I mean, yeah, it's literally different worlds. That's like a sizable portion of, of human history. Yeah around the precession so that when we try to calculate it, we don't quite get it right. And Walter Cruttenden, the guy who discovered this about the binary solar Walter system, he crouton. says that's, that, that lag... <laughs> Owner of the crouton fortune. Yeah. Heir to the crouton the family. System, and he's got a whole explanation for that. Instead of croutons, he got so again, into bad science. I'm tripping out on this because I say, if I draw a circle, I'm going to get geometry. Ooh. And then, 
I mean, that, yes, <laughs> that's literally what a circle is. <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> if I draw a circle, I'm going to get geometry. Okay. All shapes are geometry. Yes. yes uh, does he not is. understand that? He no, says he doesn't ge- understand anything. He, just, he uses geometry when he really just kind of means shapes. He just likes referring to these uh, sort of pillar sciences, yeah. like biology, chemistry, geometry. He's not really doing any, like, geometric equations. He just... No, just we're just shapes. We're just <laughs> looking at numbers. That's that's all we're looking at. There has been almost no math. Back times twelve. Once again, bang, twenty five thousand nine hundred. Bang. He's Mike. <laughs> so I talked about that last time, and I showed I you hope. all those graphics. And I'm trying not to repeat very much, but I want to show you this again because it's so important. So here oh, we are. Oh, this dumbass yeah. slide. With the Pentagon around the twenty five thousand nine hundred twenty year. Yeah, look at this, folks. Isn't that convincing? Centauri. And if you add in. This period of 5,125 years, mm-hmm. well, by God, it chops up that circle into five different pieces. That is how the exactly shapes work, because you divided it by five. <laughs> you add all yeah, that that's up, a pentagon. Said, yeah. you slide here, Hence the name. Boom, it's, a, it's, it's right next to the same But numbers. you could so also do this if you, you divide it by you know, six or seven or eight. Literally anything like that fits in a circle, yeah. Yeah. honestly. Now, what I'm actually visualizing as I see this is the geometry, but also that it's made out of spheres like this. Okay, that's another thing uh-huh. that's really important that I didn't get into last time. Yes, yeah, very important. When you're looking at the geometry, all of these different geometric patterns that I discovered can be made. With it's so close funny to cry about spheres. the matrix that and then just talk about spheres. shapes for two hours. <laughs> yeah. into a little I discovered pattern, circles. Okay? Yeah. So the close packed spheres in this case, once again, that is the Mayan calendar uh, pentagonal pattern okay. that we see. So that as we are orbiting this, uh, I mean, other well, stop, I get, yeah. What he's saying here is there's like a dual orbit type thing going on, where each of these is its own orbit. But I don't. Under- it's just kind of how you know it works. I just don't understand why this is important. In the twenty five thousand nine hundred twenty year orbit, we're actually going through those five spheres that I just illustrated for you. But the way this science works, the way the geometry works, is that there's there's spheres that make up these shapes. Uh-huh. But then you can connect. The outside midpoints of the spheres, the outer point that's right on the edge, uh-huh. and you get geometric patterns. Do you know? The geometric patterns are made out of smaller spheres. He's discovered together, that just drawing lines gives you shapes. And what's yeah, interesting he has. again is that, like, if you're looking at this, well, he discovered it a while ago, and he's for some reason <laughs> decided it's now, it's groundbreaking. Point and we're following the movement of the clock hand, and then what we're seeing is that there is a sphere. This is why they had to cut him from Ancient Aliens. He's just going to keep making the same episodes over and (laughs) over again. (laughs) In 25,920 years. But what if I said that the actions that Um. we had on each sphere are etched into it like a stylus so that when you go to the next sphere, you're, you're playing over the same pattern again. That's one of the really weird things about this science is that History is repeating itself, as I talked about last time, in the 2,160-year cycle. Uh-huh. But then the Mayans are charting well, but, this But, but history cycle. is only repeating itself because David keeps repeating himself. Yeah. It's easy to think everything is being repetitive when you're the one doing the repeating. Yeah. If we just sat down and had the same conversation every single week, it'd probably start to feel like uh, things were repetitive. A little bit. He's which is built created off of this for himself. Spheres, and again, that would be... A massive pentagonal structure. It's actually a dodecahedron uh-huh. between Alpha Centauri and our sun. I'm saying this actually exists in space uh-huh. as a gravitational force field. We move through it five times. The Maya were calculating that cycle, and they call it the, 20, the 5,125 years. And then they're expecting that we're going to go into the fifth root race. But Some what? outrageous thing is going to happen to all human beings at the end of this 5,125-year cycle, which we're expecting December 21st, 2012, Mayan calendar prophecy says the activation of some type of new human. Right, and then, that of course, didn't, solar flash. But didn't then happen. we didn't have that. Yeah. It yeah. On Fox <laughs> Centauri, but it didn't happen here, nor did we have a pole shift. So, But there was a pole shift that started in 2001 and peaked in 2013 and then stopped. Well, what? The, the problem with this, though, is even if that did happen, David was talking about 2012 in the years up to it. So if this yeah. pole shift was happening in 2001, why wasn't he talking about it? Yeah, why didn't then? he know that? It's as if the whole Mayan calendar disaster prophecy I keep thinking he's going to cry again. But we didn't have he a might. catastrophe. And that's what the Michael prophecy actually said. This shape is so beautiful. <laughs> so there is, going back to the slide now, Look at it. we're going through it's these five beautiful. spheres. Yeah. And <laughs> it's magnificent. Do something on one of them, it etches into a record album, if you will, and uh-huh. it's psychologically one influencing us in the next albums. cycle. Wow. We don't have to repeat the pattern, but we're going to have the same kind of setups, the same type of 
wars or conflicts. Yeah, that's kind of how history PC goes. Service, we reincarnate with the same people over and over again. Most of us have a soul family. It's usually between 20 and 40 people mm. that keep reincarnating mm. with us over and over again. Soul Actually, the family. Your soul <laughs> hey, more brother, yeah. you about to come back to life? Family has, more it's the new Tyler has. Perry family. Yeah. Like everybody seems to have these it's soul just families. just black heaven. And so the people who are closest to you in your life right Welcome now. Welcome to cookout, player. Don't, how you don't doing? Think that you're not excluded from this. No, nah, we, totally we got wings. You we got, are we got ribs. people you've known before. The people who Miller. are closest to you now are people <laughs> you've had in your life before. And there it's is a, a party, place player. that you go to, the afterlife state, which I talk about extensively in the book, with all the scientific data from Dr. Raymond Moody and these afterlife there's, studies. There's no scientific data about heaven. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Stuff. It's a hard thing to get, tunnel, to be they honest. Light, they have a life review. They meet a guide. There's a whole 10 or 11-part sequence that everybody goes through. It's pretty much the same. And well, almost this anybody is the can get David diverted. really needs to do DMT then, not to go all Joe Rogan, but yeah, that would fuck his head up. <sighs> because if all this shit is real, he'd have no choice but to believe that is real, and what he sees there might really fuck with him. That would be a very loaded gun. It would yeah. either come back very good or <laughs> so much worse. Into the in-between life state. The entities called me gay. So Dr. Michael Newton <laughs> Who am I to argue with them? They're just dancing around him saying that. They just run a bukkake on him. All these different hypnotic <laughs> Everywhere he goes. <laughs> Everywhere he goes, he gets raped. <laughs> 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 Every so realm Jesus he travels to, his ass is just so is inviting. He gets sodomized. Different. That's the new human. That's well, it's because history again. repeats That's itself. It has to. <laughs> That's the have timeline we're on. Oh, what a horrible fate! I'm gonna get raped in every single time I reincarnate. <laughs> All of us. Ugh. With this non-catastrophic solar energy I was energy raped release. at the signing of the so Declaration of Independence. <laughs> I was uh, raped flash. at the crucifixion. The Benjamin the Franklin took me out back. And I again Plowed did a bad me. job of explaining this to you. So he put that weird lightning key Glaciology thing in my ass. <laughs> 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 Here he is. I believe this is a real photo. Um, you believe it? Of one of these <laughs> yeah, wait, what? I believe this is a real photo. You couldn't check? That he was taking ice core samples from. So again, this is the headline as I photographed it way back in the day with bad... Major climate change occurred 5,200 years ago. Evan didn't suggest that history could repeat itself. Well, that guy Probably looks, you know, like trustworthy. Isn't that the lyrics of the song from Karate Kid? Like that was Probably. Probably. History using. repeats itself. Major Sounds climate change catchy. occurred 5,200 years ago. You're the best. Evidence suggests that history could repeat itself. I went there today to the same link. That's what David right sings now. to himself this every morning. Like so he definitely cleaned <laughs> up the right 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 Definitely a huge improvement. Uh, like he he does the Silence of the Lambs thing like where he tucks his dick in between his like legs and he dances and sings, you're the best around. Oh, girl, so we're the best. 5,200 years ago, didn't I just hear somewhere? Yeah, you heard 5,125 years, which is only 75 years off, and that's the Mayan calendar. Only. And there's five of them that fits perfectly. It's only a into century. Twenty-five thousand years. <laughs> it's like three quarters you. of a century. That's not a big deal. Okay, but now he's That's saying only that there was a major an entire climate change human occurred life at this span. exact time. He's only seventy-five years off of the Mayan calendar, and oh he never God. realized that it was the Mayan calendar. He, that's never mentioned in well, the Well, probably because he was so 75 <laughs> years off from it, <laughs> yeah, you dummy. Yeah, because it wasn't close. Again, I get in the grand scheme of things, 75 doesn't sound like a long time, but subtract 75 from where we're at now when yeah, we're in yeah. the 1950s. Well, so. in, in the realm of prediction, it is a big thing. I did that math, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I, I wanted to make sure I was the way <laughs> off. Oh, my gosh, he doesn't understand this yet. And that gives me an opportunity to go in there and, you know. Actually, you were wrong, buddy. Which is really exciting as a nerd. You know, I love that. Do so you? I'm going to read this to you. Here we go. This is the link. It still works today. I mean, maybe it won't once I say this, but, you know, it does right. Okay. It, it, this is another one of those things where it feels like he's responding to us because this is something I repeatedly brought up in his previous endeavors is he has a nasty habit of linking to things that are 404 errors. Yeah. They, they don't, like, I think he he did this research a long time ago. He didn't really archive all the research. He no. just had links, but links from 1996 don't always work in 2024. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Sociologist <laughs> Lonnie Thompson <laughs> clues that show history repeating itself. And if he is right, the result could have important implications to modern society. As in, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, but what are we going to do if it's repeating anyways? Now, so like, that's the implication. All right, but if it was really going there. If, if it was <laughs> yeah, repeating, would we even be able to change it? Yeah, I mean, I feel that's the whole thing of repetitiveness, but is you it, can't. Yeah, wouldn't it be necessary for it to repeat? Assume, uh, Hell yeah, we're doomed <laughs> okay, to do true. this for every if life we come itself, to. We're screwed. Is torment David Thompson Wilcock. Thompson has spent his career directing the far corners to. of the world, yes. <laughs> ice fields, and then bring back cores that he drilled out of their centers. Within those but cores, you've had a core drilled out of your center. <laughs> from across the globe. 
from the mountains of data drawn by analyzing countless. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> Taking ice <laughs> samples from trying David's to be too ass. Much of a narrator. <laughs> trying to get into my narrator voice, you guys. Did you feel it? You got to change everything. Just All do Uncle nuance. Colin. Change, Give us what we want. Sentence. That's the whole point. Where's your cigarette? Constant emotional texture change. Here we go. Yeah, I'm a the homo from New York. <laughs> Wait, it looked like he has something in his mouth here. It's a constant emotion. So he's doing zens too. I think so. Hell yeah, Dave! Welcome to the club, the brother. Data drawn by analyzing countless ice cores. I can't wait until he tries to quit doing them and he talks about how big of a deal it is Thompson that he's getting sober. <laughs> I had to quit. The sure, there were the zero milligram ones. <laughs> <laughs> that narration is not Lemon nice. ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> Winter, Winter Green was ruining me. And the results were nearly catastrophic I'm to emerging cultures at the time. over my addiction. Oh. <laughs> my name's David Wilcock, and I'm addicted today. to nicotine. In San Francisco. <laughs> they should yeah, boo I'm you sure out of AA if you Everybody would really love this outfit. That. It would be nice. If it's in San Francisco, we can safely assume the sizzle jacket is going to be like a hummingbird feeder for so many men who are going oh, to Oh, yeah, that's what it is. It'd just be amazing. But you would never do that. You'd never <laughs> no, go to no. San Francisco okay. in your sizzle Calm jacket down. to attract men. Professor that's of big Geological big Science. Yeah, that's not something Ohio you'd State ever do. And a researcher with the Bird Polar Research um. Center. Thompson points to markers in numerous records suggesting that the climate was altered suddenly some 5,200 years suddenly? ago. Oh, the climate got impacts. vaccinated. <laughs> he lists the shift by the Sahara Desert from a habitable region to a barren desert. Uh, that doesn't sound too good. <laughs> nope. Major changes in plant pollen uncovered what? from he does have something in South in his America, mouth. as in now plants I'm, all died off. I'm fixated. The record lowest levels of methane. I can hear it from in ice cores in speech. Greenland and Antarctica. All of this occurred at the same time, 5,200 years ago. And then I put a dot 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 because the article goes on from there and he talks about that there was this caveman that was found with food in his pocket and he died 5,200 years ago. He's walking along happy as hell. He's got his mushrooms. He's got weed. He's got whatever kind of stuff. Well, he's yeah, dude. He yeah. found all kinds of things in this guy. But he, was, Man, he died in some up. big flash freeze 5,200 years ago. Yeah, because okay, he got well, high and passed out. out. Yeah. And then he's got all he this too many data. mushrooms really, really and didn't yeah. know where he was going. <laughs> it got lost. It all occurred. Just so happens to be. Oh, it can't that mean anything. That was his hero's Just so journey. happens to be when the last <laughs> Mayan calendar started. Oh, uh, that's nothing. When ETs he thaws out, he'll come back to life. solar flash, would they? They don't care. No, of course they care. They don't want to be here when it happens. If you're going to lose the Sahara Desert from a habitable region into what it is now, oh, my God. Something happened back at this time, and it was monumental, he said. But wow. it didn't seem monumental to humans then because there were only approximately 250 million people occupying the planet compared to the 6.4 billion we now have. Well, that's 250 million very grumpy individuals. They're very, very grumpy about what the heck is going on when the Sahara suddenly goes from a habitable region to this flash frozen or flash cooked wasteland right we, and we're going to find out it's flash cooked actually so wow. get ready for it spoiler alert yeah the evidence clearly points back to this point in history and to some event that occurred it also points to similar changes also... occurring in today's climate <laughs> went, as well went to a falsetto <laughs> there all you guys in the pink shirts here at agu just panic at your leisure what? panic at your leisure AG... take a go smoke David's break you know AGP, go do something fun with yourselves <laughs> or with each other because this is it man this thing happens again we are hash browns God willing, done. Dave. We're going to be baked potatoes. He took and in that this game of hot Bell. potato, you don't pass a potato, right? It's just well, he's like dead, so you can't accuse cooked. him of it. <laughs> Maybe you left it in the yeah, oven too long. It's a hot potato now. It's, <laughs> it's not even going to be any good. Anymore. Rotted potato. If there's a thousand degrees Celsius burn on the surface of the earth. We're pretty much toast. And yeah, hardly that's anybody's really going to make it unless you're underground. And so the elites were all aware of this, and they knew about this in their secret programs. They were expecting the solar flash to happen, and they were ready for it. That's why they build all that underground stuff. It's the main reason. Is it? So then he says, uh, it also points to similar changes. Okay, yeah, panic at your leisure. Could happen again today. It's a cycle. I like that phrase, panic and at your leisure. Ahead a little it's bit. a good says, album The impact title. of climate change of that magnitude on our modern world would be tremendous. As in, nah, you're not going to live through this, dude. Like, I don't, go ahead and build your stupid shelter. Yeah, if like, the planet gets scorched. You're gonna get, hey, if the, the, the planet the is a thousand is melt, degrees you know? like, Celsius, there's not much yeah. we can do. So, uh, Pretty sure we're dead. That's why. They built it underground. They built these deep underground military bases, one or two miles down below the surface. It's right, right, Earth. the dumbs. These huge caverns, 20 to 40 miles wide. All the insiders tell me this. It's something I've heard from just about everybody. Uh, yeah, but those insiders also in told you that they were, you know, yeah. kidnapping people or, or arresting people, rather, and <laughs> keeping them there in the year 2019. And that turned out to not be true at all. No, it didn't. So I don't I don't know what happened. Yeah, up. I don't know why you're bringing it back up. Have a whole city with running water and rivers and streams and trees. Outdoors, underground birds. trees, you say. It looks like you're sort. It sort of looks like you're on Earth, except that the roof is made of some type of holographic projection, 
of a sky. It's not real. And they have artificial lighting. And apparently, Pete Peterson told me you can also hear the fans running all the time. And there's also kind of an oily smell in the air all the yeah, time. Yeah, but Pete Peterson is but a other than the sound of a the fans, oily smell, liar. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of feel like you're on the surface of the earth when you're down there. And they wanted to live in these places. There's apparently 225 of them or something like this. It's crazy. So, again, the impact of it this climate crazy. change on the modern world would be tremendous. It do be and wild, there were Dave. classified projects in the government where they'd already found this evidence that he rediscovered about the ice cores and stuff. And they knew it was going to happen again, or they thought it would. And so they were preparing to just have everybody on the surface get cooked, and they would hide out underneath. Right. That was the whole plan. And this is where it really gets interesting. Oh, this is Thompson where it gets believes interesting. Thompson okay. believes a 5,200-year-old event well, you may have been caused the interesting by, thing oh, here, my hour God, in. a dramatic fluctuation in solar energy reaching the Earth. Yeah, I would say that uh, dramatic is a word we could use, you know, that's... Mm. Hmm. Uh, catastrophic might be a better one. I mean, it's certainly not like you're going to live through this, right? This is this is utterly catastrophic. Yeah, he's definitely packing uh, something. Yeah, yeah. Turns into absolutely. A and, uh, Hell you know, yeah. Hell yeah, toast. Dave. What happened? So those Evan Canada shows dips around like 5,200 years Twitter. ago. Oh, God, those sound terrible. Yeah, that sounds output. awful. First dropped precipitously. It's the last thing I want to do with that is put it in oh, my oh lip. Oh, my God. Pack it a surged over a your... short oh, period. Oh, ew. Yeah. All right, and that, that's a solar flash, isn't it, right? That's a solar flash. Holy crap. And then we go on from here. <laughs> David's so easily it is this manipulable. Huge solar energy oh, boy, is he. Manipulable? I don't even know the word. It makes me an idiot, but boy, is he. he sees in all those records. If we manage to get in touch with him, we could use a fake clear. voice and be like, no, yeah. we're just protecting our identity, David. Underway. I'm Pete Peterson. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, what did the title of the paper say? It said, evidence suggests to history could repeat itself. Smoking at 51 is... Hilarious. Why? So I mean, I guess I not smoking. Before, he is dipping. Nicotine. Of the I calendar, wish you'd be circle. smoking. That'd be so my cool. Divides the He's just ripping heaters doing this the whole time. Into five chunks of <laughs> he got addicted to fake cigarettes. <laughs> now he's, <laughs> now he's using five five <laughs> He method acted and, himself yeah, in that. that. Into Every an time addiction. we reached the end of the Mon calendar, <laughs> the last time we did, what happened? Oh, that's right. There was a solar flash, and it wiped out all this crap on Earth. Okay, well, now we're at the end of the next one. And what happened? Nothing. Well, again, as I said, we did have a solar flash. Oh, we on did. On the 21st, right on time. I don't. But it was next door. It didn't we just, happen on the 21st. Oh, oh, oh one system. happened we somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charged up energy. On a different away day. Away from our own solar system and blew it but out. But outside of the fact it was somewhere else so on a different day. Before, yeah, ignore that. It was right on time. There are 11 documentaries where I go into way more detail about this stuff with incredible amounts no, of No, you don't. No. And, and it's an online course at thedisclosure.com. And if you put in the word jubilation, you can get a huge discount. Man, I also want to say, really plugging. I'm again, going to be appearing at Disclosure Summit. David, read your Super Chats. This is, that's the event with him and Corey. I don't know how that's going to go now that Corey's had uh, terrible losses in the lawsuit. When is it? It's the 24th, I I'd, believe, I'd love of this to go. month. I'd love to go if I didn't know the tickets would be so expensive. Uh, 400 bucks, 800 yeah. for VIP. They are doing... A stream, but that's still a hundred and something. If you send a thousand dollars to the Patreon, we'll go. <laughs> or, can we even fly without licenses? We're gonna yeah, have to you just, just lie so until you lost it. Then you go through a secure check in. So it just takes that, a minute longer. For it, and uh, that means I get paid more. So just bear that in mind. Thank you. Um, so this is a first live event I've done in so long. I mean, I just was like with all the Please God wear this outfit. I'm doing aerospace now. Yeah, I, think, I think that's why it's April 26th. Ah, so. oh, fuck, briefings. I'm in Austin. It's like, yeah, I'm not really that interested in going public anymore. They planned it that way. They knew they knew. Make it. <laughs> our they knew. Our own Scotty CEO is going to be there, Chris Beskar. Wow. Well, that should go so well. Again, the, the world's Summit. least successful David CEO Ward's is going to be there. That's worth so eight hundred dollars. <laughs> a guy who three D <laughs> printed a plane. <laughs> I mean, if he Not wants to give a course on how to, you know, play system, an idiot. Yeah. We're seeing a huge Pentagon drawn by the Mayan calendar. If we take Walter Cruttenden's theory that the that the twenty five thousand years is caused by a binary solar system, which I believe is true, make it into a circle. Now you can put geometry in it. The geometry explains. But a circle is already both geometry. The pentagonal geometry gives you the Mayan calendar. And the Merkaba geometry gives you the ages of the zodiac, as I showed you last time. You take the Star of David, and you uh -oh. put the midpoints in there, and you got twelve segments. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I'm a fan of this. Do you know, so space the way is that Jewish. We know that this is happening <laughs> is that we see the same thing in the planets. So, as I said here, uh, if you look, as I said last time, between Venus and Mars, we've already seen this again, too. Decahedron there. 
There's your five spheres. You notice those five spheres again? Yeah, it's one thing you to be repetitive, David, but you're just running this back from literally awesome seven donations. days so before. Thank you guys. I Not even. That. I guess this was six because he did yeah, this on a Saturday too. instead of Sunday. So look at this for a minute as I drink the water. Is this his third what cup of water? What we're seeing here on the top is, is He's going to have to pee at some point. Between the diameters of the orbits of these Well, yeah, cars. but that's his power. He, he, he pisses, he, he pisses himself. Them. Well, <laughs> yeah, he, he's going to fill up the now, tub. He's able to <laughs> no, the author of his work. He yeah, drinks uh, a lot of water to do that. He just of a cold plunge with ice and water, it's just piss. Of, you know, Copernicus. And... These, just pees in the same bucket stuff. to Copernicus collect it. To yeah, he's been peeing in a hot tub for the last year. <laughs> <laughs> so he could sit the in it. Planetary orbits were spaced from each other according to these geometric relationships. So he wasn't able yeah, to that's, do it. He's gone crazy. Right he's got some form of like but uric acid poisoning. So <laughs> I mean, yeah. Spheres, I would assume something bad happened. The orbits are now the diameters of spheres. This is another really important point. In the old way of <laughs> no, looking at the not. No, yeah, planet, no, no, it's, no, it's not. not. Think about it like this an electron really going around a nucleus. The sphere is the diameter. It means literally matter. nothing. There's nothing else there. Less than now nothing. Now I want you to see, as you see at these diagrams, at least nothing is not that inaccurate. That's is true. This is, this is a on net negative. a giant negative. sphere that moves with the planet, a sphere of energy in the entire planet's orbit. That's what it's drawn by. That's the diameter of the sphere. There is a sphere of energy that moves with the planet as it's moving. Okay? And so all of that, all of that plasma is moving at the same time that the planet does. And there's lots of great stuff in Sacred Science of Michael where I show this. Like in Jupiter, look at the Trojan asteroids and the Hilda asteroids. All right. And notice how they're in a big triangle. Okay, go look that up. Look up an animation of Jupiter's Trojan and but, Hilda asteroids. But everything is Watch shapes. how they all flow through a triangle. And what the hell is a triangle for? Nobody ever tells you that. It's geometry. <laughs> it's geometry. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is a triangle for? Nobody ever tells you that. I never learned that. I think he also, he had brought up a... Lava flowing in a triangle last week, which again I don't know what that means, but triangles triangles are the shape of the moment, I guess. Yeah, very flow important. Of gravity that captures all these asteroids and forces them to flow through this triangular pattern. So John Martineau's work, which I go through again in the Sacred Science course, I don't know who I go John through all Martineau the planets in the solar system. And most of these alignments, when you do it in a computer, they're ninety nine point nine percent perfect. Uh -huh. So that means that when you're looking I at these, I call bullshit on that. Yeah, I kind of like doubt that right to be here, honest. Okay, between Venus and Mars, you've got a dodecahedron. Between Earth and Mars, you've got an icosahedron. That uh -huh. means the diameters of their orbits are now sphere diameters, right? And when you what? look at how the spheres are related to each other, you can fit these close-packed spheres inside. So when you see up in Venus and Mars, sure enough, there's a bunch of these round circles inside the big circle. Those uh -huh. are the close-packed spheres that make that dodecahedron. So when I was showing you the Mayan calendar inside the circle and I showed you five little circles <laughs> those are the five little circles inside I, that do you have any idea what the fuck he's talking about top. not really to be honest there? with you he's, he's, he's losing he just kind of keeps saying kind of the there's circles the circle in the circle inside. and then around that pentagon you see there's five smaller circles right well that's exactly what the science is and so what I'm saying is in the cycle <laughs> he just history, keeps saying circles and then saying this is the science <laughs> there's circles and then there's other circles around that circle this is the science yeah that happen in history on one sphere within this geometry carry over to the next this, one this picture means the literally nothing to me i, I don't it's just the circles the, the sphere tells that's you the, the hero's science journey. that's what's so weird yeah. about this that's the hero's journey so again uh this the is circles very, very are the fascinating. hero's journey it turns out that all the planets have this relationship with each other they're all doing this in their own way and it's a gravitational current caused by geometry uh -huh. like we mentioned in richard c hoagland's 19.5 this is rotating currents of energy inside the planet. But that now, says 19.47. But here it causes the great red spot on Jupiter. It causes the great dark spot on Neptune. It causes cloud bands on Saturn and Jupiter. It causes, it stops the sunspots from going any higher or lower on the sun. They only go up to 19.5, which is this magical alignment when you get, again, the Merkaba shape I was talking about, and you put it inside the sphere. So that's the same shape that is being made by the 25,000 year orbit we have around Proxima Centauri. Uh -huh. It's the same shape that when you divide into 12 segments, you get your 12 cycles of 2,160 years in the... I feel like I'm listening to the, the fucking RZA describe the chambers. About. Yeah. So the, the point it's again is, chambers, you can now look at this degrees of knowledge. It's 36 it circles, and inside each circle, there's another 36 circles. Star. And if you circle that As circle, that's the sign. <laughs> uh, around the clock, starting clockwise. David's a like black Hebrew Israelite. David's a five percenter. Imagine that as you reach the point, and this where is why the white devils are going to hell. In your orbit, there on that white circle, 
as you hit that red corner of that red triangle. You know, happened in 1947 and World War II. Ooh. really going to heat up. And what does it do? Well, He's going to take that from you. Probably, yeah, I hope so. Boom, the sun goes off and you get a solar flash. Lonnie Thompson said it happened 5,200 years ago. There it is. Bang, we got it. Well, Lonnie Thompson geometry could be wrong. Happen, Sounds like a, like a basketball player. It does. Things Lonnie go crazy. Walker. The sun blows up. But there's also this energetic advancement of humanity. And so, again, we're at the end of the 25,000-year cycle. That's when the law of I think he's stuck in a loop. I, <laughs> it does feel like we've so listened to the same thing pattern, your over and over to again. So rise or fall. Okay. This, again, gets into the 12 cycles within the he orbit literally I just about said last this. time. You take your Merkaba, which I've now simplified. Right, the Jewish cycles, we're oh, aware. Okay. That just makes it a lot easier to visualize this, because otherwise uh -huh. I have to draw a whole bunch of circles. and. It just oh, I see where we're going. Star of... David. Oh, he's Jewish. Yes, yeah, yeah. Well, David is the geometry within which we all exist. They're sacrificing the red heifer for me. <laughs> <laughs> complex looking, but it would look like the flower of life. Okay. Well, because so, he, David, as he revealed in the Michael prophecies, he is also the reincarnation of King David from the Bible. Yeah. So I guess I think I, I think I'm finally starting to connect the dots in my head. Yes, I believe he is claiming to be the universal geometry within which we all exist. Wow. Because it's the star of David. David, yes. So you know. But anyway, you take your star of David, right? I just showed you that. And uh, now it's on the orbital level, not inside a planet. But you're chopping it up into these 12 segments. He, but this, this is the part of having a, a hard time dealing with. He realizes you can just draw any shape in a circle, right? I don't think so, to be honest. <laughs> like, this is not something profound. You can do all kinds of shapes. So you could draw one triangle. You could draw 13 triangles. You could draw multiple circles. No, in his mind, this is groundbreaking. You can draw some squares in there. And then, as I just said, each of these is an age of the zodiac that lasts exactly We know you literally just said it, years. David. Like two minutes so again, ago. I, I didn't want you to get hung up on the clock. I mean, that is how the Law of One described this. They said, imagine it as if it was a clock, which is very interesting they said that. And sure enough, it looks an awful lot like a clock. Yeah, a circle with 12 yeah, things in it. As I talked about it. last time, history is no. moving in these 2,160-year <laughs> no, do cycles. this to us. Don't so say it's as we go through is. these 12 intervals, imagine again there's 12 circles. And whatever happens on the last circle is going to happen again on the next one. Uh -huh. That is the hero's journey. That is uh, the hero's What? <laughs> circle is the story. It's it's the Christ. The, the Christ is all there is. What? The, the, He's lost it. Yeah, what the fuck is he talking about? He just showed us a bunch of shapes. He's like, that's Jesus Christ. The circles <laughs> are Jesus. There you go, folks. The one infinite creator is all there is, okay? okay? Everybody is a part of it. There's nothing else. Okay. That's the basic law of one philosophy. And so since everybody is connected to this infinite intelligence, the infinite intelligence is causing us to reincarnate. And as we appear in each of these spheres, we look the same as we did in the last sphere. Uh huh. And only the sphere itself is actually evolving, but it's not uh, in linear time. Uh huh. Beings like Archangel Michael are actually able to manipulate multiple moments in time at once by changing the sphere itself. And the sphere is in a state of becoming. So there <laughs> might appear to be 12 of them in this geometric diagram that I just showed you, but that's not really. This makes no fucking sense. I think I get what he's going for, though, is I think he's saying basically, because he talked about these soul families before, I think so each of those. Time is one big circle. I okay? feel like I'm listening to Kamala Harris. This is, yeah, it's fucking nothing. It's just, this is nonsensical. But I think what he's saying, so if we're looking at the clock, right, the, the clock contains all the circles. Uh -huh. Each number on the clock is its own separate circle. Right. And we all go through that one at a time. So we all exist at the one o'clock circle and then we develop, and we all then exist again on the 2 o'clock circle. Okay. And I think we're working our way around the clock, and now we have reincarnated in the final form of this circle of time. All right. Do you have any spare change? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, true. There's only one of them there. Um, it just looks like it's in 12 different places. Because uh, we have I'm the flabbergasted. Okay. You follow me so far? No. Absolutely not, dude. In these 2,160-year cycles, yeah. and about half of the entire book that I wrote is all dedicated to things like the equivalence of cyclical history between Rome and the United States. It's, it's not accurate at all. It's incredibly it inaccurate. It's into things like the, the, the points in time, the exact moments that wars start and end. How many years does it happen? Where are they invading? What's going on? It's not accurate. It gets into very specific <laughs> historical events. Accurate. And 
the people who are involved in these historical events appear to be reincarnating and then repeating or okay yeah yeah okay this is what he's saying we have all we've already done this oh, we, okay we have all all together already done this so whoever David, I, who hated King David in the Bible, because I guess that was us. We were, yeah, we were mean, that us. version. So just repeatedly, we are reincarnating and trying to move closer to the end of the cycle. Damn, we trolled Jesus into getting <laughs> crucified. <laughs> that rules. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Hopefully improving their karma from one lifetime to the next. Uh, and it's in the case of some of them, they didn't get any better. sitting in a cave yelling others, about how we want Barabbas. Okay. <laughs> so, for example... Yeah, that's what they, uh, they asked, and nobody was going to say it. We're like, know. we want Barabbas! <laughs> we want Barabbas! <laughs> Jesus is gay! Give us Barabbas! <laughs> this is Space Sabbath Saturday. So we're <laughs> we uh, just breaking out Jesus' uh, sermons. Look at this <laughs> fucking retard. I'll do the Sermon on the Mount. Just turn the water to the wine. Fucking, you know who else is that? Queers. And then put it next to a picture of Richard Nixon. <laughs> this doesn't look anything the same. Sibling. And once again, you showed us this last yeah. week. Literally last week. I he's his head is fucking broken. He's yeah. stuck in a loop. Does he like did he forget he did this? I, uh, probably. The, especially in the eyes. The bag Do you think it just went so well? He's just like, I'm gonna run it back. I was actually just thinking it might be the opposite, is that he showed this and everyone's like, those two pictures don't look anything like oh. so. so now he's trying to say, so the eyes is what we're Oh, okay. That's the only part that matters. I I I mean even the eyes don't match. They both have eyes. There you go. Eyes underneath. You notice they both have the funny baggy eyes. Yeah, but his bags are over here and his bags are right up like the nose. Well, one's is sort a sculpture. Of like, but really, it's it's this kind of leering stare. It's it's the way the lips and the mouth hang. The There's the chin, absolutely the the everything jowl, he's saying is wrong. Up. The chin isn't. His chin is pointed. His chin is flat. Also, this is a sculpture and not a real man. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> irregularities here. But what's so freaking weird is what? that this this researcher in 1980, this French researcher Francois Masson, Francois found that the Watergate scandal, which was a big deal, right? Richard Nixon gets caught wiretapping his Democratic opponents' offices. He gets caught wiretapping them, and it goes public. And at that time, everybody had this illusion that there's nothing really wrong. I mean, the Kennedy assassination, assassinations and the Martin Luther King assassinations got people thinking. But most people were still asleep. They don't want to believe in this idea of some greater... Right, right, right. Manipulating events here, but that yeah, they don't want to believe that Scipio Africanus is actually right Richard Nixon. Yeah, that'd be and my silly. mother said that every time the news would come on about Watergate, that I would start crying in my crib. It was like I could feel <laughs> people awakening to the the darkness of what yeah. was really there. Yeah, yeah. that's probably it. Kids don't cry Nixon normally. No, he's crying because of Watergate. He was upset that yeah. Nixon Maybe betrayed the American people. The baby was a big Dick Nixon fan. He resigned and he actually stepped down from office. Yeah, and then. Lyndon Baines Johnson steps in and becomes president. <laughs> Did he Johnson? just call him Lyndon Beans Johnson? <laughs> he might have, yes. He might have. <laughs> he absolutely might have. Bush has baked Beans Johnson. <laughs> Johnson to, to Carter. Okay? And I remember all this. Because I grew up, again, I was born in 1973. And my dad was a news junkie, so we're always watching CBS you know, News. You would have been better off if he was a heroin junkie. Yeah, <laughs> you'd have turned out better. Damn, Dave. <laughs> Fucking fourth so class well, of water. <laughs> That's Richard Nixon. But what oh, are you talking about? Pounding that shit. Roman history. So, well, so you, you don't just point out a statue and be like, this looks like Richard Nixon, and then <laughs> chug your fifth glass of water. Like, something something is going on. Honest, got involved in the scandal. Uh, something's wrong. Um, I forget what it was, but they, they were at war with this particular country. Well, here's, here's the problem, Dave. You just said you don't remember what it was. If it's a cycle, wouldn't. It'd be the exact same thing as what happened with Richard Dixon. Wouldn't Scipio Africanus have been wiretapping? <laughs> That's how I understood it. And and he was, I think he was bribing them with money, with gold coins, to not end the war. He wanted to keep it going. That's so like not big the same thing. Because wait a minute, you're saying that our emperor or whatever he was at the time, I think he was still an emperor, right? Uh, that he is like paying off the enemy to keep the war going, so people will keep dying. And for whatever reason, he, so he compare this to Vietnam. To and so people were Maybe. freaking pissed. I mean, people were ready to kill this guy. It ends up in the arena. You know, they wanted to give him the death penalty. I'm sure of it. Because he was trading <laughs> with the enemy. And he, You're sure he, of it. Yeah, well, he's sure of it. Not because there's evidence, just because he's sure of it. Right, right, For right. money. It's basically what it turned out to be. It was really horrible. Well, he gets called into the center of the arena, and they hand him the books that show the proof that he did this. And right in front of all the people, he rips the books apart. 
He tears him apart. He throws Suck him on the ground. Suck my dick. He said, that's it. I resign. Uh, below me. And he retreats off to his little island, and he lives the rest of his life eating mangoes and papayas and oh, that sounds fun. And and beautiful figs and all these <laughs> kinds of things. Okay? That's what probably ended up happening. Well, that's what we oh, know. Oh, that's what happened. probably ended up yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, see, what probably happened is yeah. he, he retired to an island to eat mangoes. To eat fruit, yeah. Yeah. That's so what all the great emperors did. Came a fruitarian. France, yeah. <laughs> he was actually Steve Jobs at the past time life. That Scipio Africanus resigned. If you take it exactly 2001 or I like that years the later, subtitles exactly are writing it like C3PO. Nixon I know. <laughs> C3PO. It, 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 C-3PO it, it, when C3PO, C-3PO resigned, so pretty, the Galactic so Empire yeah. really took over. Exactly it's the black version of C3PO. C3PO Africanus. This stuff is that good. And then I what found is up, Master Luke? I can't do this. Getting back to Francois Masson's data, this is also something he didn't even notice. He didn't even pick he up on the He keeps going fact back to it like it's a fucking all. home run. He only picked up on the cyclical connection of these very strange linkages between them over 2,160 years. The next one he found, which was in politics at the time, is Cato the censor reincarnates as Jimmy Carter. I, I, I and, don't uh, understand really why we're just doing one, this again. Yeah, I'm just... Once again, on my own... I looked at the faces. Look, he never did this. Not, never the guy it. on the right looks more like Barack Obama than Jimmy Carter. Yeah, I just, I'm with you. I don't, I'm with I you. Said, I don't know why God, we're, we're, Carter on the left, we're doing this once Kato more. On the right, and they did he get so offended exactly that we didn't think they looked the same? He's like, and no, again, you just didn't see it enough. Key, there's very precise moments in Carter's life that overlap exactly the same with Cato the censor. The whole way in which Cato changed the government, all the stuff that Jimmy Carter did. Yeah, what about after OJ's friend, Cato? Humanitarian work. He was a really <laughs> or great the, guy. the Green Hornet all this sidekick. Charitable Kato. work around the world. And I really do think he wanted to help the Alliance. And he was doing the best he could. And the same thing happened with Cato. Cato became this amazing guy who did all these great things for Rome and really kind of cleaned up the mess of Scipio Africanus. And so uh-huh. in, in Roman history, Cato comes in, I think, directly after Scipio Africanus. In American history, you got LBJ in between. Oh, so it's not exactly the same. Oh, it's a little Carter different. I don't know why that happened. I'm sorry, I got too excited. Like Jimmy Carter was a peanut farmer. Well, how could you not? Cato <laughs> farmed, I think. It yeah, Jimmy Carter was a peanut thing. farmer. Like Cato didn't even know what those were. <laughs> how they grew up in the country, how they became a political figure. It's, oh, they it's both grew up. Crazy. Wow, they were That's politicians. How they what really attracts oh. all the attention most of the time is Hannibal reincarnating as Hitler. Ugh. And here's the facial similarity. Yeah, look at it. This is so bizarre. Like, that that, that doesn't look remotely similar. Well, it was bizarre the first time. The <laughs> second exactly. time, it's right? retarded. It's Hitler unnecessary. Is Hannibal, but with his beard shaved, and he just decided to keep this little piece underneath his nose. You mean his defining, like, characteristic? So yeah. Universally associated with Hitler, you can't grow that <laughs> you can't actually i mean you can it's just hard to pull off michael jordan get a job it. anywhere <laughs> yeah well you got to be the goat white supremacist if or whatever race you are they're just going to call you a white supremacist anyway doesn't even matter anymore what race you are but what the hell is going on here my god they look the same i hope that's what david <laughs> like ends up i hope david goes so crazy he becomes there, racist he's got a beard, <laughs> and on the right, he just starts becoming a he goes way. pro-segregation yeah. knows a maybe we should different. have separate water <laughs> fountains tilted in different angles on their heads. i hear they like kool-aid the ear is the same <laughs> i mean it's it's just really really weird the, the ear looks like it was photoshopped from one i'm just other. saying they, they commit 50 uh, percent of the, the crime the and they're only 13 percent of the population and again, for Ray never David. discovered this. <laughs> he didn't even bother to look at their faces. He wasn't even thinking of that. But there's these incredible things. You mean he wasn't like, thinking of uh, of looking at different Hitler pictures and calling them the really same? Bizarre thing. The Holocaust. Up- yeah, we're. <laughs> <laughs> what a funny way to. Hitler did this crazy thing. <laughs> he had some strange ideas. Yeah. That Hitler guy. Uh, yeah, really bizarre fella. Poland. It was called the Glywix incident. G L I E W I C Z. And they staged this whole thing <laughs> where they have dead bodies that were already dead, but then they put them somewhere else. Well, and dead them look bodies like, are oh, no, dead. They died yeah, over typically. Here. And they simulated an attack on their own radio tower and they blamed it on Poland. Uh-huh. But it wasn't. Is he going to cry again? The Glywix incident I hope so. was one of these FFs. I love okay, Hitler so much. <laughs> he was just misunderstood like me. Take those two F words and put them together. That's why I'm what? being very careful. False fags. Uh, I thought I thought he did mean that F word. The it's when he sleeps with the man accidentally. I don't want to mention very often <laughs> because they got caught. 
and it was not <laughs> It was not Poland mm. who blew up their radio tower. They did it to themselves oh. and didn't have an excuse to go attack Poland. Okay? The exact same time, 2001 or 60 years earlier, oh, that, that okay. happened. I, I thought he was talking slower. When, My. I forget exactly what he did. There I think go. it might That's have been when Hannibal speed, killed his father. Dave. It was something really crazy. I think it was. I think it was when Hannibal killed his father. Go back and look in the book. I, I don't remember now. I love that he just doesn't it, refresh his... Hannibal did no, exactly it didn't do the lick a lick of pregame. It's got the same kind of energy to it. But then the whole outline of World War II, what they do, even the land they World invaded... World War II, what they and do. And <laughs> pointed out that Hannibal had this blitzkrieg strategy with elephants, that when you got elephants, they can run. And so there's literally people riding elephants and... and it was a much faster form of battle than anything they'd seen before because normally soldiers just march. Uh -huh. and marching is slower, but elephants can run. What? So they would. How many Hannibal elephants got this did idea they have? He was going to take big really of elephants and capture the elephants and train them for military, and they got battle armor. Okay. And this becomes Hitler making tanks. Right. Tanks are Oh, the tanks are, are elephants. Okay. Metal. Yeah, because they're the exact same person. So I got you, Dave. Has to be the military same. machines like this. And so it's who a very did, similar who did strategy, gas? except one is battle elephants and one is battle machines, battle tanks. I guess we'll find out. But then they even out. conquered the same lands at the same times in the cycles, 2,160 years apart. And Hitler's using Blitzkrieg. I don't think that's true. And then, if that's not crazy Unlikely. enough, as I said before, we have this world history professor from Russia, no. Anatoly Fomenko, who <laughs> all Please events stop in world it. history. Please cyclic. stop. No, Dave, this no, 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 not oh, We again. did this again. This <laughs> We literally saw this last week. It's uh, the same fucking slides. Yeah, what's going on? What's going on, time, Dave? Back to I don't. In a second, the, notice that the, we'll talk about the KHP and C. Why is he doing this? Lines, he just talked about it. KHPC keeps popping up. That's the four part structure. He had, of the he had presented journey. this six okay. days we'll previous when he did this. We'll talk about these overlaps just last time. Oh, the slide. same yeah, one. The, the, the same kings, the same periods of time. Did I fucking click the wrong the episode? What are in the two cycles? <laughs> They do the same stuff. That'd be funny if that be so funny. It, was, it was us. <laughs> this fucking idiot's doing time. the same thing. Right. <laughs> the Roman the well, now I'm paranoid. Hold on. And I want to point out that Fomenko that can't be possible. No, no, this too. is from six days yeah, ago. Yeah, six days ago. Okay. These historical cycles are so similar to each other. What's the chat saying to David? That historians fabricated them because they were. Let's go, Brandon. Well, if that isn't a synchronicity, there we go. He actually concluded that it's only been 800 years since the time of Christ or something like this. That was outrageous, but. He shows that the history repeats itself so well that it's as if he, he can't believe that it really happened, that it actually played out this way. So his only conclusion was, okay, somebody had to have cheated, and then they took these notes about this part of history, and they copied them over, and then they, they okay, well, now it's this pope and it's this pope, but let's just, let's just go with the same years. We'll just change the names, but everything's just going to be like, boom, 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 boom. Wouldn't it be more, this even out. if this were let's true, just repeat it a couple times, wouldn't you know? it just be more likely that some fucking historian got lazy and just copied someone else's work and... That's what I would guess. That's what he thought was going Not on. Not that time is a And here's loop. another example. Jewish kingdom to the Holy Roman German Empire. I don't Empire. like the way he's hitting that he's word. Got these <laughs> I mean, the Jewish so kingdom. Deep. He's flirting and with it. And then on the global level, you have this strange thing. So I want you to start up at the top, below the word European history. Oh, I want you David, to look at where it says E, and I want you to see this. K and H, which is yellow and green. And then P, underneath the next K, is orange, I'm and C is blue, K-H-P-C. Speed it up. You look at the next one over, and sure enough, it says part, K -H -P -C is, right Yes, we, we literally did this. look at the next this. line down, and it says K-H-P-C. Next line down, K-H-P-C. Uh -huh. Next one says K-N-P-C, or whatever that character is. Well, that's and then different. And the bottom, K-H-P-C. So as I'm trying to tell you here, K-H-P and C is a four-part formula for the hero's journey. That's what he discovered. The beginning, middle, and end of the story, K-H-P and C is what? set up conflict and resolution. It's just a, so like a story it's structure. every single part of history. It's doing the same thing. Yeah, well, that well, that, that is just kind of, that's how stories resolve themselves. I'm going to probably use at least two hours, maybe even two and a half. I, I do not want You're going to go almost so three and a half. <laughs> pause it and come back later. This would be a nice midpoint. Okay, I'll just say that now. Well, thank you, David. Wow, how convenient. <laughs> okay. Maybe he is watching. He's yeah, giving yeah, us yeah, his yeah. own setup. That was <laughs> nice of you, Dave. I'm going to hope in the next episode we get uh, some new information oh god i hope we don't do this fucking slide all over again yeah, because two more hours of the exact same shit we watched last week would be rather torturous <laughs> patreon.com slash <laughs> uh i don't know what we're doing on patreon this we'll week figure we'll figure that out, out. Yeah. uh at hidden plain side radio on instagram you are at brand steel hidden on instagram we are at the hidden pod on twitter we cracked a thousand thank you folks hell yeah all right who do mamba out <laughs>